This is Free Talk Live. Ho, ho, ho. It's me and Chris. That's sexist, Ian. You shouldn't say ho on the radio. Hey, Chris Cantwell. Good evening. It's good to be with you, Ian. It is Christmas Eve, and you are not celebrating. No, I am not. I'm I'm so glad to be here in the studio with you instead of with my retired IRS agent father and my papist mother in New York. Uh, this wow. Is, this that is, sounds like fun. That is not how I want to spend uh, Christmas and uh, dealing with all their uh, religious holiday with their pagan symbols and all their lunacy going along with well, that. Well, originally you were expecting to be in New York. And then Long Island, I guess, uh, for this week. You were you told me you weren't going to be in uh, tonight, and I needed to find somebody else. And I had begun that process, and then a few days ago, you told me different. What it, happened? Yeah, so I uh, I went down to New York, and so with my family, they'll do Christmas almost like three times, right? So the the, the Saturday before Christmas, my father's side of the family comes over. Uh, and then on Christmas Day, they go do something else, right? And then we go and spend Christmas Eve with, the, like, the immediate family usually, and then Christmas Day is with my mother's side of the family. So I went down there uh, on Friday night to spend Saturday with, with the father's side of the family. And, you know, these people are not, like, politically educated, right? You, you know, I mean, they don't have the political education of somebody who watches Rachel Maddow once a week. Okay. And they don't even realize that they're starting political arguments a lot of the time. But, you know, on top of that, then it's, you know, so, hey, Chris, what's going on with you? And, of course, my life is, you know, very involved in political and philosophical things. Whenever and my parents or my mom asked me that, because my dad I can actually talk to. Uh, he and I were kind of libertarians for a while, and he went back to the Republican Party. But uh, I was never in the Republican Party. But anyway, uh, when my mom asked me that question, my standard answer now is to look at her and ask her if she really wants to know. Because I know that whenever she asks me that question, since my life is basically activism all the time, I mean, this radio show is essentially an activist project. Right. Um, that's really all I have to talk about with her. I, you know, I can talk with her about pleasantries like, you know, the weather and things like that and what she's doing in her life. But as soon as she bothers to ask that question to me, it's like, I know she's not going to like my answers and that whatever my answers are inevitably are going to lead to some sort of conflict. Yeah, exactly. And, and this is the thing that happens with me. It's like, I, I, you know, my, my entire life is public. I mean, my Twitter followers know more about me than my family does, right? <laughs> yeah. And so it's one of these things that if they had any interest in actually knowing what was going on, they They'd could certainly you. go and find out, yeah. but they just don't, right? So if I go down there and they're talking about trivial nonsense things that just don't matter, we can, you know, have some fun and chit-chat and make jokes and everything's fine. But, of course, they either they will ask me what's going on with me or they will bring up a, a, a point of political contention and maybe not even realize that they're doing it a great mm. example is like my father every thanksgiving says they've got to shut down these black friday sales right you know the the, the stores <laughs> opening on thanksgiving and i'm there like are so, some states that have done that too and i'm like well how much violence do you think should be levied against walmart workers who want to go earn minimum wage on thanksgiving violence right? yeah what what violence right, right? so of course yeah. this is this is what happens every single time and it comes up at the dinner table you know is government force and my my cousin's wife insists that when you say it comes up at the dinner table you mean that's what happened this year yeah okay right and it's happened pretty much every other year (laughs) right like every family gathering this happens and so you know this year it it comes up because they asked what was going on i mentioned i was on the colbert report and talked about the the meter maid thing the Mm -hmm. the the part the robin hooding and so you know she was asked well why why do you have a problem with parking enforcement and i'm explaining it's a threat of violence by Mm -hmm. the way before, before you go on did you look at your web stats after the colbert report hit yeah. How how did how'd you do? I I more than tripled my traffic from Not the day bad. before. You know, Not it was bad. a pretty good it was a pretty good bump. Got some new email subscribers, definitely some new Facebook links. I mean, Sweet. my stats, all the data said that we did a good thing as far as I was concerned. So you brought up the Colbert report, and then go ahead. Right. So then there, you know, they, you know why is uh, the parking inform? Uh, the, why? What's the problem with parking enforcement? I explain that it's a threat of violence. They say it's oh, not. I say boy. everything about government is violence, and I give her example, example after example, and you know, right up to and including. I said, well, you know, look, if some other person came up and put handcuffs on you right. in the street, we would call that call violence. Kidnapping. So she's, you know, she just dodges it every time. She goes, well, is it my husband doing it and making like stupid uh, little jokes? Uh, and uh, I'm like, you uh, are completely full of s. Right. 
And <laughs> this, and then everybody's like, okay, let's change the subject. Let's change the subject. But she won't. She goes oh. to my now. She's been drinking wine, right? <laughs> and she goes to my cousin, and she's like, he just said I was completely full of s. Are you going to allow him to talk to me like that? And mind you, I'm bigger than my cousin, right? Like, what was like, her intention with saying that? Like she wanted an you argument, oh, you know, okay. and she wanted to keep it going. I was so like, she knew Lady. she was losing, and she wanted the your cousin to step in and save her, basically, uh-huh. you know. And I, I I stepped in, and I was like, look, you don't want to have this conversation with me you're in a, you're out of your depth you know you don't know what you're talking about and everybody then starts telling me to shut up because of course it's my responsibility to not talk about my beliefs when right. i show up for their you know for their religious you holiday should just right you should just sit by silently chris as people essentially express their worship towards the state towards something that you consider to be a danger to mankind you should just sit by and quietly nod your head because you wouldn't want to upset the family yeah because i mean these people these people all of them every single one of them at the table for example would think it perfectly reasonable if i took the gun that is on my hip now got in the car and drove to new york if i got caught with it they think it's perfectly reasonable to throw me in prison for that and i find that extraordinarily offensive that these people tell me they love me and that they're like yeah well if you disobey uh your enemy then uh you should definitely go to prison and you know risk being raped and assaulted and all the horrible things that happen to people in there and i just got up and i said i can't do it anymore. I can't continue to put myself through this every year and risk my mental health, my physical health, my stress. You know, uh, I started, I was I was five weeks sober. I started drinking the Monday before Thanksgiving, just anticipating that I was going to have to go down there. And then it snowed and I was like, thank God I'm not going for Thanksgiving. This is a complete disaster. So I. How many people were there? I mean, when you got up from the table, how many people were there for this conflict? There were probably. Maybe a dozen people there. That's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Were there anybody just sitting there quietly, just like wide with wide oh, eyes? Oh yeah. <laughs> Most of them were like, "Oh no, what happened?" <laughs> yeah. Does anyone uh, can anyone at all empathize with you of that dozen people, and you just know they're staying quiet because they don't want to get into any uh, trouble with the the folks? Um, I don't. I don't think so. No. I so mean, they're all in favor of the state. Oh basically. yeah, they're all definitely yeah. in favor of the state. I mean, to varying degrees, of sure. course. You know, I mean, like my my one cousin probably not a big fan of the war you know uh the the probably the the my cousin's wife who i was arguing with would probably tell you that she's not a big fan of war and stuff like that i mean they're Mm -hmm. they're largely left-leaning people uh so but they they all believe that the state is there to do you know um, benevolent things and and take care of people in charge exactly and and that is just something that and i've and i've Come on, we've all tried to do this. Talk to our families about this stuff, and when you just see this, like the 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 cognitive dissonance slide over their faces, and them defend the indefensible, no matter how many it's examples hard. you give them, it's just so difficult. It's hard to deal with, especially if you care about the people in your family. You know, like I mean, I like I like my mom. Uh, you know, I I don't dislike the lady. I think she's a good person. Uh, it's just that she's dead wrong on a lot of this stuff, and she supports the violence of the state. Sometimes it seems like it's mindless in the way that she supports it, just because that's the way it's supposed to be and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the last time I was home, I managed to get through the days. I wasn't there. I, I did not sleep there. She wanted me to sleep there at the house, and I did not do that. I, I go and I sleep with my ex-girlfriend when I'm, yeah. <laughs> when I'm uh, in Florida. And so... I finally, the last day I was there, and somehow we ended up getting on the war on drugs. And I just, you know, I knew this wasn't going to go well. Yeah. And, of course, you know, she's there defending the idea that, uh, well, you know, you broke the law, so you got to go to jail. And I came up with examples of, like, well, you know, what about this guy, 20 20- Five years he's been sentenced to prison here in Florida because he had some prescription pills without a bottle or something ridiculous like that. One of these prescription violations. And I felt like I might have been persuading her on that particular issue, but uh, that was, for the most part, she was getting very frustrated. And ultimately, I broke off that conversation and, you know, took off uh, at that point. But, you know, it's, it's tough to see someone you care about 
basically saying they wouldn't mind if you got thrown in a in a jail cell because well you're their son but at the same time you committed a crime and you've broken the law and so therefore you deserve to go the to state prison. has the highest claim on everybody apparently the toll-free number tonight is 855 450 free do you want to tell us about your family holiday experiences would love to hear your story the toll-free number 855 450 free it's christmas eve we're here live 855-450-3733 or join us via skype at username lrn.fm more free talk live coming up and now from the cato institute the cato constitution minute our founding fathers did all they could to protect individual freedom from the very government they were creating they knew that government should have the power to protect us from each other But our founders also knew the dangers of government power, that it could be used to violate our rights. The government they created wasn't a simple democracy, where majorities always rule and our individual rights are at the mercy of the simple majority of voters. Our founders knew that this had been tried and failed, as in ancient Greece. Our founders instead tried to protect liberty by creating a strictly limited government, with only certain powers granted it. They also devised a government of overlapping powers, balances, and checks, to ensure these limits were honored. They understood that when government has the power to protect us from everything, it also has the power to take everything from us. To learn more, visit the Cato Institute online at cato.org. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, December 12th, 2014, gold opened at 1216.60. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1261.34, 630.67 for a half ounce, or 315.33 for a quarter ounce. That's 1261.34, 630.67, and 315.33. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Toll House Refrigerated Cookie Dough. Who would you bake some love for? Find fun and easy baking ideas at tollhouse.com. Kids love doing arts and crafts projects, especially when you join in. Try channeling all that artistic energy into the kitchen and bake up some creative treats together. Think of your art supplies as the frosting, sprinkles, and decorating gels, and use cookies or cupcakes as your canvas. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Hey, 
Hey, it's Free Talk Live. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, a man is possibly facing charges after posting, Put Wings on Pigs, a statement regarding putting wings on pigs to Facebook. We'll tell you more about that uh, when we get a chance. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Cantwell. And if you care about the future of Bitcoin and the peer-to-peer economy, you need to head down to the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference. It's happening at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin, March 28th and 29th in 2015. I'm looking forward to it. Mark and I attended the first uh, Texas Bitcoin conference that was this year, and it was great. Um, it was, however, kind of out a little ways from Austin. You kind of had to drive out to a, like a racetrack to go out to it. This time they're moving it right into the heart of downtown Austin at the Moody Theater, and I think that's going to make it really take the event to the next level. Speakers, exhibitions, a great opportunity to do some networking, as well as hosting the second million dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. The tech and, uh, the Texas annual excuse me, the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference, is going to highlight what Bitcoin means to everyone, as well as heavily concentrate on where the technology can go beyond just being a currency. If you want a glimpse into the future, you'll want to be in Austin on March 28th and 29th. So head over to TexasBitcoinConference.com. You can get your tickets there. Use code FTL when you sign up. You'll knock $25 off the $150 ticket price. And already $150 is pretty affordable for a conference event like this. But they're also going to donate, when you use code FTL, they'll also donate $25 to Sean's Outpost with every ticket purchase. Uh, so you're helping a great Bitcoin charity, and at the same time you get a discount of $25 off if you use code FTL over at TexasBitcoinConference.com. So we'll look forward to seeing you there. We were actually broadcasting live from the event last year, and we'll do the same thing this year. So go get your tickets now for March 28th and 20. 29th at the Moody Theater for the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference in 2015 at TexasBitcoinConference.com. Let's go to Dalek. Dalek Ancap is on the line calling on Skype. Dalek, you're on Free Talk Live on the live Christmas Eve show. Thank you, gentlemen. Merry Christmas Eve. Howdy there. Go ahead. All right. So uh, basically, I was kind of thinking about talking about my uh, my Christmas experiences. Uh, there were actually some some good, some bad. Uh, one of them, uh, just a few like weeks later, right after Christmas, uh, we actually had to leave our own house because of the town. Uh, there were a bunch of crooked cops. Um, not only that, there was just this really bad landowner that was really unfair. Um, to us so we had to leave which kind of did suck and yeah um, yeah that doesn't sound like much fun yeah that's uh no no way to spend your your holidays unfortunately sorry to hear that oh it'll be fine i mean this <laughs> happened like two years ago so does I it do you I'm, have uh, do you get along with your family or we just asked on facebook we were asking people if uh the their political and philosophical beliefs sort of cause distance between them and their family members well, I would consider most of my family don't really agree with me, but they don't really care. Um, I think that they're really actually more open to my own beliefs rather than uh, against them, basically. That's a nice position to be yeah. in. Yeah, good to so, hear. Was yeah. there anything else you wanted to share tonight, then? Just basically the idea of Christmas. And um, one of the things that I will say is that uh, I can understand, you know, like giving within this holiday season and uh but aside from the christian thing and also uh about uh uh well actually it was ba- it based upon a uh, a pagan holiday which is called yule mm-hmm. um, yeah it, it's kind of interesting uh, i thought um you're, what you're saying is interesting is that christmas a lot of its trappings have come from the pagans is that what you yeah. find interesting? Thanks for the call yeah. tonight, Dalek. Appreciate it. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Um, it's true from what I understand. You know, I think it, what the Christmas tree was one of the things that they all, lifted. All of this stuff is. Yeah. So the Christmas tree, Santa Claus, you know, um, uh, it, probably the majority of the things that I see at my parents' house on, on Christmas are pagan symbols and i and i went off on this in my little christmas rant earlier today too it's just <laughs> you you got you you got you got your christian holiday where you have pagan symbols all over the place so you worship your christian deity and you practice idolatry to the state 
So um, let's talk back a little bit more about the family because you had a, a rough uh, experience when you went down to Long Island just a few days ago. You came back unexpectedly. You weren't expecting to be here tonight. Right. So I'm glad you came in. Thank you for that. Me too. Um, but you are glad you're here because you didn't want to be there where you would be inevitably in close proximity for multiple days apparently with people who you just don't get along with. And there's been some level of, I guess, discussion about uh, this libertarian philosopher guy, Stefan Molyneux. He advocates that people, he uses this kind of cult jargon, defu, which is some sort of term. Remove that means- yourself from your family of origin. That's what defu is, like de family of origin. Yeah. Um, I don't think I necessarily agree with that, but at the, at the same time, I have done what you've done. I've. I've walked out of a family dinner before or, you know, family gathering of some sort based on uh, based on, you know, the conversation, the frustration of being in that room and, you know, not being able to get anywhere and in conversing uh, with these folks and getting them to, you know, at least see the the gun behind the all that is government. But at the same time, I'm not going to, you know, cut them out entirely from from my life. You know, I'll still call the folks tomorrow and say Merry Christmas to them. But I'm not going to stay on the phone too long before some inevitable conversation comes up where there's a conflict. Yeah, the the thing. So I think Stefan is a little too quick with the defu trigger finger, right? Like yeah. I think that like if you listen to that show, and I do pretty regularly, he he will basically get to telling nearly every caller to to separate himself from his family and that's I don't, really culty i think way. it is and i do think that like look your your relationship with your parents is not the same as all your other adult relationships your other adult relationships you know did not feed you your whole life they did not wipe your butt as a child they did yeah. not do a lot of things for you that your parents did and you did it, it a is point. a different relationship than your other adult relationships whereas stefan would say your relationship with your parents is the same as all your other adult relationships i don't think that that's accurate at all well i i'll definitely give you some some credit for that um, but at the same time, I also think that if you are in a family where your parents are abusive scumbags, then by all means, you know, disconnect from people like that. I don't think that you owe something to them because they created you. You know, the obligation at that point was for them to take care of you. And if in the process of supposedly taking care of you, they physically harmed you or sexually molested you or did something like that, then I would say, yeah, there's nothing wrong with going ahead and, and disconnecting. Right. But yeah. Under- I would say that you definitely look if, if these people are causing you harm, then stop letting them harm right. you. Right. And there's there's a certain amount of like we're in between between the hey everything's fine and hey you're raping me is the line yeah. that you cut it off and that's you know it's a, it's a value judgment that every individual has to make for themselves i think you know and my parents look i mean i don't agree you know the the political stuff is is hostile and toxic but you know generally outside of that they're generally good to me right yeah. i mean they they're not out to you know cause me harm for the most part but they will just they choose the state over me 10 out of 10 times and i and i'm hurt by that literally i'm really like it it messes me up the t- Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So, yeah, I don't think the idea of disconnecting entirely in most circumstances is appropriate. I think the circumstances have to be fairly extreme. But at the same time, your time is limited, and you can only spend your time on so much in your life. And if you're, you know, if you're not getting the return on investment out of spending your time with your family that you are expecting, which is, you know, hopefully to feel good about it, right. uh, then I think you should limit the amount of time that you spend with them. Yeah, certainly. I told my mother, I said, you can come to New Hampshire anytime you want, we'll but I'm really... Hang on, Chris. It's free talk. Knowledge of the ancients. Tried and true. Trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend. Crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. 
This is William Chambers, now a retired insurance salesman. Chambers is just one of over 95% of grandfathers who, according to a new report from the Center of Business Intelligence, secured their first and only job by walking right up to the owner of a business and asking for a position right then and there. I slammed my fist on the desk and said, I'm your man. He stood right up. He shook my hand and he said, you come in first thing Monday morning. According to the report, nearly 36% of grandfathers claim that they found employment by entering a local business with nothing but a nickel in their pockets and a shirt on their backs. 24% saw a fine looking marquee for a business and said, someday my name's going to be on that sign. And 40% of grandfathers said they snuck into the CEO's office and said, Mr. McKinley, sir, I'm your guy. It just took gumption. You didn't need some fancy internship looking the boss dead in the eye and showing him you were a man. That was your internship. This is the Onion News Network. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you'd like. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. We're here live on this Christmas Eve edition of the show with you tonight. It's Ian. And Cantwell. Christopher Cantwell has his own website. You can go and check him out there at ChristopherCantwell.com. You've posted a rant. Uh, I think it would be best described as a rant. Yes, I do this every year. I post a video titled, uh, All I Want for Christmas is a Effing Revolution. Oh, it's always the same title? It's always the same title. So I've been doing it since 2011, and this is the 2014 version. I just released it this afternoon. Uh, rough language, warning you ahead of time. This is NSFW, but I think mm. uh, I think you should go listen to it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's... Um Hmm. Well, I have to say that I don't necessarily agree with the thrust of the, the video. Uh, it was definitely something to watch. I would say. I mean, it was. I was entertained by your your shrill shrieking on the, uh, the video, for lack of a better for lack of a better description. But it it almost sounds like you're advocating uh, violence in the video. You're not. It's uh, really, you know, though, it almost right? sounds like I'm calling to put wings on pigs or something like that, right? Yeah, I would say that you're. you're I would say you are skirting uh, very close to possible. Um, I might get kicked out of the Free State Project for this. Yeah, well, that one's already <laughs> that one's already been done. But uh, I get. Considering they're arresting people for riding uh, wings on pigs or whatever, or they're charging criminally, I don't know if they've arrested the guy yet, but uh, we'll get into that a little bit further. Considering they're arresting people for saying things like that, 
Uh, are you, do you have any concerns? With I, the I do. I have had concerns for years. And, like, uh, you know, we know that guys like Lark and Rose have gotten visits from the feds and that sort of thing. And a lot of people, it's one of the reasons some people think that I'm a fed is that I still haven't gotten a visit from these guys. And mm. at times, I think it's just ongoing investigation. Like, there's a bunch of FBI guys with my picture on a wall somewhere. And that's the only reason that I haven't been snatched up yet because. Uh, I have done things that some might interpret as uh, advocating the overthrow of government, and that is, you know, not uh, that is not okay with the feds. I think that it's it'll be interesting here. I was concerned about it in New York. There's an, in New York, there's a thing called criminal anarchy, okay. and uh, a criminal I, charge. It's a it's a misdemeanor charge if you verbally advocate uh, the you know assass- assassination or violent overthrow of government or anything like that. And they will they in New York they will charge you with that just for you know saying it. I don't believe that New Hampshire has a statute that mirrors that. And in New Hampshire, we do have a constitutional right to revolution, so it would stand to mm. reason. And that if I've got a right to overthrow my government written into the Constitution, that I might be able to mention it from time to time. Toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Let's go to your phone calls and thoughts here. We do have Rick in Nevada. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Rick. Merry Christmas, fellas. Welcome, sir. Go Are ahead. Are we still allowed to say that in the age of political correctness? You just did. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm calling to draw a parallel between uh, what you mentioned as regarding the the uh, parent-child relationship, the uh, abusive or the good parent, and uh, the uh, Gandhi-like figure of our time, the late Nelson Mandela, who uh, Gandhi-like didn't he bomb people? I'm I'm pretty sure he's kidding. You're kidding, right? Well, uh, at what point in his life does, uh, uh, after decades of uh, turning away from that kind of life, does a man get forgiveness? Fair enough. You good know? point. Good point. Okay. Uh, I'll give you that but, one. Uh, the uh, thing that uh, came about, one of the things that came about as a result of his leadership uh, was the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, uh, where the uh, people responsible for atrocities in the white government uh, came and testified without threat of imprisonment or penalty as to what they had done. And the same thing went on in Rwanda. And uh, in the case of uh, South Africa, uh, it's had mixed results. You know, you've, you've got the, the whites are feeling like maybe they got over on, with something, and maybe that's resulting in some retaliation by the blacks. Uh, in Rwanda, you have uh, a situation where the army is heavily re- represented by those who committed atrocities in the in the genocide, uh, and the the government leadership is represented more by those who were the victims of those atrocities. So it's a very strange balance there. Here in this country, we have these racial tensions where you have uh, a white uh, predominance on, say, talk radio. Of, of conservatives and, and uh, I would say, uh, uh, reactionaries who say, oh, no, there's no problem with, uh, with white police abuse uh, of, of black people. Uh, you're just an anti-American if you say that there is a problem. So uh, what I'm saying is maybe we should think about, in order to uh, avoid the South Africa situation where the this white government was forced into changing by the economics and uh, investment sanctions imposed upon it by the rest of the world, or in Rwanda, where the the genocide was uh, basically just kind of fizzled out and then resulted in changes. Well, Uh, I would say— We should have people who, in the the police in this country and in the white community in this country, who admit to things like the the white cops in in Southern California, for instance, back in the 60s and 70s, who would go out hunting for the large black man. It was a sport for them. They would go into the jail then, and they would disappear. They would never come back out of that. They would never come back out of that What is the white community— what does that mean? It's like this ridiculous concept, like the black community, as though all black people are just like the same, or all white people are the same, and somehow one white person can speak for the community of white people. Is that what are you saying there? I'm just Isn't confused. that how it works? I mean, doesn't Al Sharpton speak saying, for all black people? No, of course not. <laughs> what I'm saying is, how about a cop or two who is re- who is responsible for kidnapping black folks and killing them in jail in Southern California? back in the 60s or 70s, come out and admit it and say, hey, that went on. 
that was the case. And today, things are still going on, maybe not to that degree, but let's be more more honest about it. Well, I I have no problem with uh, people being honest about it. I don't know that it would be a good idea to let these guys come in and testify without fear of prosecution. I mean, if you're out there, uh, you know, kidnapping and murdering people and and going out of your Mm -hmm. way to target people for their skin color, uh, you know, I I think that there might be a pretty good reason to prosecute you to treat you real bad as a result of that. So I don't know that. I'd want to create a situation where they could, uh, you know, cop to these things without fear. But I, yeah, would... I, I mean, are people really confused about this happening? I guess what you're saying is you want some white cop to come out and admit to being awful and racist. So that's somehow going to convince the conservative talk show hosts. Well, no, what I'm saying is that uh, it would be nice if you had a Gandhi like cop or a, let's say a Mandela like cop. <laughs> Gandhi who would become a police himself, officer. Who overcame himself and came out and admitted some things, but I don't think that's does it have to be a does it have to be a white cop or can a black cop come out and say, hey, this you know I worked in this racist department and here are some stories about that. No, that's fine too. Well, that's I, happened. I like to that happened within honest. the last few weeks. We As read the article. I actually just put uh, I just put one of the more recent articles on ChristopherCantwell.com is uh, an article titled "What a Good uh, Parentheses Living Cop Looks Like," and there was a situation where a guy shared my article about the uh, the cop killings in Brooklyn, and he said, "I feel no sympathy for these guys. They should have quit their job. I was on the force. I realized how bad it was, and I quit." And you do see a you know a certain amount of that. Unfortunately, there's a lot of benefits. To to being a police officer, and most of these guys will literally kill to keep them. Rick, thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate it. Toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Mac in Seattle. You're on Free Talk Live. Mac. Hey, uh, last night you guys were talking, you and Johnny Ray were talking about ants. You mentioned uh, red ants, and uh, John, there was a little bit of confusion between the difference between a red ant and a fire ant, and I yeah. wanted to call in about that. because All There right. actually is something about about government about this so we clear it up sort of uh, goes along with the theme of the show so red ants when you're from the south like you are as i am uh typically are harvester ants these are not the same as fire ants fire mm-hmm. ants are solenopsis and victa um they come from south america they were brought to the united states as uh, accidental cargo back in the 1930s and the reason why this ties in with the whole government thing is because they became such a problem that between the 50s and the 70s, the U.S. government spent billions of dollars. Now I'm driving, so I don't have the numbers on hand, but it was billions of dollars trying to kill these things uh, with pesticides. And yes, that didn't work is, out. Is that the music in the background? <laughs> is that the music in the background? Yeah, because it is, Mac. If you want to hang on, we can bring it back. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. This is the live Christmas Eve edition of Free Talk Live. You bring up anything. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. It's the end of year clearance sale at Lumber Liquidators. We'd rather sell it than count it. So every floor and every store is on sale, and it all must go. Get incredible deals on first quality flooring from just 35 cents a square foot. Beautiful three-quarter inch pre-finished solid hardwood is just $179. Save even more on all liquidation clearance and closeouts. If it's in stock, it's on sale, and pay no interest until January 2017. Don't miss these end-of-year deals on over 400 floors. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. 
If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com this is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You take control toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. This live Christmas Eve edition of the program, Free Talk Live will be with you tonight as well as tomorrow night. Throughout the holidays, Chris, uh, New Year's Eve, we're going to be here then too. So always bringing you live content, which you can access anytime you want over at freetalklive.com. Something else that uh, you might want to pick up on is In Freedom's Cause. It is a piece of audio theater. It's over two hours in length. I have listened to it and uh, I've listened to the entire thing. And the acting is good. The sound effects are great. The score is really impressive. It was originally created for In Freedom's Cause. What is it? Well, it's one of the greatest stories of the struggle for freedom in recorded history, the story of William Wallace. And it features some actors you might just recognize. Uh, Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey, Billy Boyd of Lord of the Rings, Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia, as well as James Cosmo from Braveheart, Game of Thrones, and Sons of Anarchy. It's called In Freedom's Cause, and you can go and get it with a special discount just for Free Talk Live listeners. It's got a study, a study guide available, by the way, and it, you're, the kids in your life will love this. Now, it's too late to get it in time for Christmas, but not too late to get it in time for just the hell of having it and giving it to people that you care about. Uh, the family four pack is what you get the big discount on. Use code FTL to save 50%. That's the family four pack over at infreedomscause.com. Coupon code you want to use is FTL like free talk live. That's infreedomscause.com. As we go back to Mac in Seattle, Mac was schooling us on the history of fire ants because last night, uh, Johnny Ray and I were some, somewhat confused. Were red ants the same thing as fire ants? And according to you, Mac, they are not necessarily the same thing. I, I had no, always not, thought that they not, were. Whenever I saw red I. ants, I'd think they were fire ants, and I'd think they would kill me. That's what I thought, too. I was in. I lived in Florida my whole life. I don't know if Florida has red ants that aren't fire, fire ants, because I'm pretty sure they're all fire yeah. ants down there. But go ahead, Mac. You were saying that uh, the, the red ants, or the fire ants specifically, were brought in by a ship uh, via South yeah, America? 
That's right. They were brought in, I believe, from uh, Argentina. They're not exactly sure where which ship brought them, but they know where they arrived. They arrived in Panama City, uh, and then they spread from there to out to Texas and then up all the way to the coast up to uh, hmm. uh, Virginia. And they got so bad that by the 1950s, the U.S. government, uh, they decided, well, we have to do something. We're the government, right? We solve problems like these, don't we? And uh, so they came out, and I forget. I'm, I'm in my car right now. I don't have my, uh, you know, computer with me or anything. But they have, they uh, declared war on these things. They used some uh, pesticide or maybe some different kinds of pesticides. War on ants. And, they, yeah. and and for for over 20 years, they would, you know, attack these ants in different places: Alabama, Georgia, Florida. And what they ended up doing was they they ended up. Uh, not killing, of course, they killed some of the ants, but what they did mostly was they killed the domestic ants, the um, the domestic uh, fire ants, the, the black ants, and these other ants that were competing mm -hmm. fairly successfully with the fire ants and therefore keeping their numbers down oh, somewhat. <laughs> and and the, the end result is that after a 25-year uh, long and approximately, if I remember correctly, I think the final number was $7 billion spent, if I remember correctly. Wow. Uh, the the fire ant numbers quintupled, and not only that, but they killed. Uh, when I was a little kid, you you would see quail. You go out into the woods, and there'd be quail everywhere. They almost they they decimated the quail population. They Jeez. killed off uh, a lot of birds. They killed off a lot of water birds. They killed off all these other animals that would otherwise eat the ants. You know, lizards and things like this. And so basically, at the end of the day, after seven billion dollars in twenty five years. They quintupled the fire ant population. Incredible. So that's how come? So did they finally we, stop that program? Is this like one example of a one government program that finally got ended, or what's what's the status it, it of it? It did actually. Incredibly enough, it did. They but finally I mean, ended it, the war it, on it, ants. <laughs> and like you know, the thing the thing is that it it also goes to show you that the government. Look, I mean, it'd be one thing if these things were army ants and they waged a war against them. They're just killing civilians. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. But it kind of reminded me, I mean, it, this might be a bit of a stretch, but it's almost metaphoric of what happened in Iraq. They pulled the pressure cooker off and the bad guys took over. Yep. And that's kind of almost mm -hmm. what happened with these fire ants, they, you know, with the government. I mean, they can't do nothing right, man. Come on. Thanks for the history, Mac. I appreciate the call tonight. Yeah. Toll free number is 855-450-FREE. Jimmy's in Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live. Jimmy. How are y'all doing? Hey, Jimmy, you're on via Skype. Go ahead. Just want to give a quick shout out to Dark Lord Zeno. All things are possible through him. You know, you don't hear much uh, about Zenu during the Christmas holiday season. Largely now, overlooked at Zenu. Zenu is uh he's an alien, right? In the Scientology belief system. Yeah. It's unfortunate. You I know, don't know if we uh, should be talking about Scientology. We might get sued or something, right? They are fairly lit litigious. What were you gonna say, Jimmy? Did y'all uh, get my Christmas present? I missed it. Where uh, to? Where did you send it? Keene, New Hampshire. Yeah. Okay. I just put. Well, it's it's uh it's big and black and it has a suction cup on the bottom. <laughs> oh my. Okay. I y'all would like. Well, I guess y'all didn't get it yet. Sounds hey, like I it wrote, could be kinky. Maybe yeah. my mind's just in the gutter. I wrote y'all a poem. <laughs> oh, I would love to hear your poem. Is uh, what's the yeah. theme? Uh, it's just I guess free talk live theme. Okay. All right. It's um. Uh, I, I'm starting. I'm just kind of new at writing poems. It's my 53rd poem, so it's not the best. All right. You know, but uh, well, I appreciate all right, I that. Guess so. Go ahead. Yeah, but, uh, it goes like this. Uh, let me get it. Hold on. I got the paper. Uh, Jimmy and Milford sitting in a tree. <laughs> if you. S I'm sorry. That's <laughs> the wrong poem. Hold on. Let me. I apologize about that. That's I, I wrote that one for Milford. That is like, sweet. Get, get on the dump button. Say. I have to say. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I got it. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> you are a and, keeper, and, Jimmy, I got to say. Well, I appreciate lucky, that. Milford is a lucky lady. I know. I know. She's obese, but that don't bug me, you know? Yeah, it helps her with her job as a plus-size hand and foot model is my understanding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, morbidly obese, you know. <laughs> uh, so here it goes. Uh, dog poo, dog poo. Free Talk Live, I love you. Free Talk Live, if you was happy, I would be too. Two donkeys and some french fries, I really like you guys. I like Cantwell, Ian, and Mark too, even though Aww. he's a Jew. What? <laughs> you're, a, you're Jewish, Chris? I'm or not is Jewish. Mark a Jewish person? I don't know. Mark. 
What, Mark, what, what do you have a problem? You got a problem with Jewish people? No, I say I like them even though Jews. he's Jewish. You said, I was gonna say you seem like a likable guy, Jimmy. I mean, so you're okay with yeah. you're okay with Jewish people then? Why I'm why even mention it? it? Why why even mention it? I mean, what's what's the relevance? Uh, well, I don't know. Now you stump me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have more to the the poem? Well, not now. I'm upset. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we ruined Christmas for Jimmy in Arizona. Oh, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate Bye. it. Enjoy your holiday. Toll free number 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Earlier in the show tonight, Chris, you and I were discussing family difficulties throughout the holidays, and uh, you're welcome to share your experience. Do you have a, a certain belief system, maybe like we do, like the liberty oriented belief system? Uh, and does that cause conflict at the holiday dinner table or wherever it is that you spend time with the family during these times? We'd love to hear your story. You're welcome to share it with us. And you can join us on Skype like Jimmy did right there. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Uh, and so, you know, I, I think that a lot of people experience this, Chris, where they've come across these great ideas of freedom. They want to share the ideas with people they care about. Naturally, a lot of people care about their families. Yeah. And then they do their best to express those ideas. And to be fair, some people are better at expressing these ideas than others. For sure. Um, but, you know, with practice, you can get better at this kind of thing. And even those who are fairly good at expressing these ideas and can, you know, make crystal clear, to at least to us, uh, what the state really is, which is, of course, an organization that is a monopoly on violence that uses the threat and actual violence against peaceful people to, you know, get them to obey its diktats. Uh you know, even if you can explain it fairly clearly, there's still plenty of people in your family who just don't care, and they love the state, and they believe certain things about the state, and nothing you say seems to have any effect on them, and that's frustrating. It's it's extraordinarily frustrating. It's like uh, what does he say in the in the Matrix? You know, most of these people are so hooked into the system, so dependent on it that they will fight to defend it. And when yeah. you challenge, even if the they authority, supposedly love you. Even if they love you. you, they they will. They would rather see you destroyed than their what is essentially their deity. Uh, that they they believe that strongly in it. And I think that there's a there's a tendency to get hostile while discussing politics in general, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, because people recognize when you're discussing politics in most political discussions, people do realize on some level that you're threatening them with violence. Absolutely. And so people have this tendency to get hostile in political discussions generally. Right. The Republicans don't want the Democrats to use violence on them, and the Democrats don't want the Republicans to use violence on them, so they're constantly at each other's throats over who gets to use the guns of government. Right. And then so when somebody comes along and says, hey, let's just stop all this stupidity and stop pointing guns at each other, each other they react exactly the same way as they do when their political enemies are threatening them with violence it's right. crazy so you're not willing to use violence against your family members but they're willing to use it against you and that's a frustrating thing it's hard to deal with that you're welcome to share your thoughts here with us the toll-free number is 855 450 free we're here live on this christmas eve edition of free talk live there's more coming up shiny badges on your jacket shiny badges <laughs> This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. John Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream back pain cream at Walgreens. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency, and Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, and spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 24th, 2014. Silver is trading at $15.84 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,179 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $332. Antiwar.com reports, having gotten a ton of publicity for the upcoming movie, The Interview, by claiming they were never going to release it, Sony has now announced that they will be releasing the movie on time on Christmas Day. The movie was previously pulled after hackers threatened to 9-11 every movie theater that showed it, and several theater chains pulled out. North Korea has denied involvement in the hack and says they would not attack innocent moviegoers. President Obama has been critical of Sony for not releasing the movie, a Comedy about assassinating North Korean ruler Kim Jong-un. It is still unclear how many theaters will show the movie on time, though the hype surrounding it over the past weeks will likely attract considerable interest. The hackers who were threatening Sony over the release have also curiously clammed up about the matter lately, and with North Korea publicly insisting they had nothing to do with them, their credibility is likely weakened. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports U.S. health regulators will recommend that gay men be allowed to donate blood one year after their last sexual contact, easing a ban that has been in place since 1983. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration said that scientific evidence shows the move will not create risk for the nation's blood supply. It stopped short of removing the ban altogether, which some medical groups and advocates had recommended, saying it was not supported by science. The policy change is expected to boost the supply of donated blood by hundreds of thousands of pints per year. Blood donations from gay men have been barred since the discovery that HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, was being transmitted through transfusions. FDA Commissioner Margaret Hamburg said in a statement, the FDA has carefully examined and considered the available scientific evidence relevant to its blood donor deferral policy for men who have had sex with other men, including the results of several recently completed scientific studies and recent epidemiological data. The FDA said the move aligns the policy for gay men with that of other men and women who are at increased risk for HIV infection. John Peller, president and CEO of the AIDS Foundation of Chicago, said that the new policy still holds heterosexual individuals and gay men to different standards, adding that the policy is a step in the right direction but doesn't go far enough. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. UPI reports, an indefinite stay in a Florida State mental hospital was ordered Tuesday for Ebony Wilkerson, who drove her children into the ocean in Daytona Beach. Circuit Judge Leah Case sent Wilkerson to the Volusia County Jail until she is admitted to a hospital. Wilkerson showed little emotion when the judge ordered her committal. Case said because the defendant suffers from a serious mental health illness that has caused multiple involuntary hospitalizations, the first one because she threatened to kill herself and her family, 
and actually culminated in an attempted suicide in 2005, and then the 2014 episode, which was a dangerous act. It is something that would have killed her and one of her children if bystanders had not intervened. The court is convinced that the defendant should be committed. She minimizes her health issues. She lacks insight into her mental health problems. Wilkerson, who was pregnant and had three children, were rescued by onlookers in March. Case accepted her plea of not guilty by reason of insanity last week. Defense psychiatrist experts testified that Wilkerson suffered a psychotic break triggered by hormonal changes during pregnancy. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Markets went into a frenzy today after the price of money suddenly skyrocketed to $90 a dollar. Onion reporter spoke to economics professor Mark Cosgrave about the soaring cost of U.S. currency and the impact of increasingly unpredictable dollar-to-dollar -dollar rates. Right now, money prices are steeply rising with no signs of slowing down. This morning alone, the price of dollars nearly tripled, with one cent worth approximately six dollars. That's exponentially higher than even a week ago when money was trading at roughly $53 on the dollar. To put it bluntly, we're now in the midst of a national economic crisis. According to Cosgrave, the abrupt spike in dollar prices initially caused many Americans to hold on to their money, hoping that the $90 cost of dollars would soon dip back down. But as prices continued to climb, investors panicked and began purchasing as much money as possible. But with the cost of quarters hitting $4.97 and the $5 bill jumping to a 12-year high of $372, the days when you could get 30 40 dollars for just a couple of bucks are unfortunately long gone this is the onion news network it's free talk live we're doing a live christmas eve edition of the program with you tonight in studio you've got me ian and Cantwell, and you can join us online just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we have waiting for you there on the site once again that's freetalklive.com coming up tonight a man is facing charges for a facebook post it's happening yet again and also happening in massachusetts again which isn't the first time something like this has, has gone on there where someone has posted some sort of inflammatory sounding thing on Facebook that isn't necessarily a threat um, and are getting in trouble for it. So much for freedom of speech. Uh, we'll tell you about what's happening there. Your calls and thoughts are welcome here. We're going to go to them at 855-450-FREE. Marcel is on the line in New York. You're on Free Talk Live, Marcel. Hey, um, I just wanted to share a story since we were talking about it of um, talking liberty with the family. Yeah, well, that's um, one of the things we were discussing in the first hour is the d difficulties that some people have in having these discussions when family members seem to choose the state over the people they supposedly love. Um, I actually have a story. Mine was actually from a few days ago. Um, for background, my family consists of a soldier, two cops, and public school teachers. Ooh. So I should have known what was happening like as I came in, but I didn't. Like, on my way to see them, I was ready. Like, you know, I might just get into a discussion about liberty with these people. I should probably just avoid doing it since I know I'll lose. But I got baited into it because— So hold on, hold on. Before, about, you go, uh, before you go on with this this story from this year, you, you'd you had previous encounters that did not go well with the family? Uh, no. See, I had never spoken about liberty with them before since oh. I haven't seen them in a few years. And the last oh. time I'd seen them, I was still at my uh, my minarchist phase. But as we all know, there's between a minarchist and an anarchist for a few months. Sure. So I had only become more radical in the intervening time period. Okay, gotcha. And so you just presumed this wouldn't go well? Yeah, I knew ahead of time, and I sort of told myself I would avoid it. Mm -hmm. But the temptation was just too great. Like, um they were talking about Eric Garner, the guy who got choked to death on Staten Island, and I said that you know he was killed essentially because of attacks on cigarettes, and then from there it was just devolved downhill. Like I learned in that discussion that tax evasion was theft, and that selling loose cigarettes should be punishable by death. Like you know, wow. when you explain to somebody, you explain to somebody like you know the progression of force. Like if you don't do this, they'll come and then they'll bring more force and escalate and so on and so forth sure. until you die or submit. Yeah, they were totally okay with that. Well, that's the system. That's what they elected their politicians to create, right? Oh yeah, and then and then I just you don't like it. Go like, to Somalia, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh no, Kazakhstan was the example I got. Kazakhstan. Okay. I still don't get it. Kazakhstan. I, uh, yeah. Just go hang out with Borat. <laughs> I even asked, like, wear a mankini. Yeah, what I 
<laughs> and then I said, um, would you apply that standard anywhere else? Like, do you think we should just demand tribute from other nations since the U.S. Navy is what makes international trade possible? And they're like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then just, said, just it, global taxation. Why don't we just have a planetary government where the United States can just take whatever they want from anybody? Oh, that's pretty much where we live, right? That's pretty much how yeah. it works. So how did all that uh, end up for you there? Uh, you know, once they just started substituting laughter for an argument mm-hmm. and then calling me a communist, I, I, I was done. That was it. Yeah, You got called a communist. Yeah, yeah. the conversation's uh, over it. Uh... If you don't like government, <laughs> yeah. move to Kazakhstan, you communist. It's, I love yeah, the, like, the, when it gets incoherent like hate that. The it's state. like, for, for, you know, on the one hand, they're like, oh, you're, a, you're, a, you're, a, you're an anarchist. You don't like government. Move to Somalia. And then they'll just call you a communist because it's literally like that's – it's bad. It's in bad how intelligent the argument becomes. And it's yeah. literally like, I mean, with some of the stuff I've written about later lately, it was like really controversial. And I mean, you know, it's it's the same thing that people just don't even know what to say. I mean, people who come to me and they're like, well, to respond to my political argument, they will tell me that I am a, a fat, balding, stupid uh, traffic whore. And I'm like, look. Uh, th- th- three out of four ain't bad, but that's not an argument, mm. and I'm not stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's not uncommon for uh, people that you know disagree with us to just simply break down to pure insults. That that's all they've really got in their corner. Ultimately, they don't have any kind of intellectual thing to say beyond you know the same old excuses about how well you know it's our system, it's the best system in the world, and we voted for these politicians. If you don't like it, you can work to change it. But in the meantime, crack down. I mean, they don't care. It's like they they disconnect from any humanity that they should have that you that you know that they have because you were cared for by these people for, through a good portion of your life that you know that they're human beings. But yet, when the state says do it, they just go along with it. I love the uh, the the Larkin Rose uh, video that's out there. I think it's titled "The Complete and Undeniable Truth" or, or the um, or "Message to the Voting Cattle." I think is the other one. Right? Mm. It's, it's, you know, it's, it was only your God that told you not to kill, but the state told you otherwise, and you'd rather go with that. And that's it's Sick. literally it's as as negative a thing as I think religion is. I mean, it's it's just that the state is even higher than that which they consider their deity, and that's just sick, man. At least God doesn't change his whims arbitrarily. Well, I mean, you can. There's definitely some changes in how God handles things in the Bible between the Old and New New Testaments. So right. I would say that's pretty yeah, arbitrary. Right, let me try that better. God doesn't get worse every two years. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll give you that one, Marcel. Anything else you want to share about your experience? Um, nah. That's thanks thanks for calling and telling the story tonight. Thanks, I do buddy. appreciate it. Toll free number tonight is eight fifty five four fifty free. And uh, so you know, you're welcome to share your thoughts here, whether it's on family interactions and how those just went in the toilet when you were at Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner, whenever it is you get around them. Um, I, you know, it's I managed to, to when I'm when I'm on the phone with my parents, I, I'm pretty good these days at avoiding these topics. Um, but whenever I remember years ago when I first started getting into it more often, because when you're new to the ideas of liberty, it's even more important, it seems, yeah. to, to spread them to the people that you care about. And so when I was trying to explain these ideas on a more active basis with them, the few times that I would go to, to spend time with them, I remember at one point my mom asked me to stop talking to her about these these matters because she doesn't like it. When I when she feels cornered, she doesn't like it when I corner her. Yeah, and that's an admission that she has nothing that she can say, right? Like, you know, we've had a conversation about whatever the issue is, and I've asked certain questions that get to the point where she has no legitimate, solid answer to those questions because to answer the question in one way would essentially admit to wanting to use violence against me or something like that right, right? like so essentially and i don't remember the i'm kind of generically saying i get i get the concept goes. though that basically when you've when you've basically gotten to a point where they can't say that that you're not you haven't won the argument and they just right. want to stop the conversation right then you're corner then i'm cornering her mm-hmm. and well don't talk to me about these things because i don't want you to you know i don't want to feel like i'm being cornered well that's because you have nothing to say that can intellectually defend Defeat the ideas of liberty, and you're experiencing cognitive dissonance to the level to where you're so frustrated that you feel like I've physically trapped you. 
Right. And and most people who are discussing politics, especially if they're if especially if they're not even like an adherent to a particular ideological sect or whatever. Right. The, the most pe- I think most people in this world are basically just middle of the road. Give me sure. a little of this, a little of that. They have right? no ideology. And so when they they are not under the impression that like political answers have definite answers. Right. That they don't believe that there's anything more right or more wrong. And it's all just a series of, well, what's your personal preference for this week? What's Rush Limbaugh saying this week? Right. And so it's one of these things that they don't they don't believe that there there is a proper answer that whoever everybody is equally correct about their political opinions. Uh And I'm like, well, no, that's really not the case. Like you're actually factually (laughs) incorrect here. And I will either get you to admit it. Or this conversation will go south at some right. point. It was worse for me in the beginning too, because I was uh, when I, when I first got involved, I was running around with like a lot more like conspiracy oriented people. So like oh it, it wasn't even just you know a philosophical thing about the government is forced yeah, or I don't think this is morally correct. Or some it's, nonsense. There's a global conspiracy <laughs> to enslave the human race, and and they're gonna oh wipe boy. out you know three fifths of the population or whatever. Yeah. And and nine eleven well. was an inside job. I showed my mother right. uh, a, a 9-11 documentary and she was just like i don't care if this is right don't ever say this to me again <laughs> i'm terrified <laughs> you know it's hard enough uh to convince family members that the state is violence that that alone is difficult to task enough but to try to convince them about whatever the conspiracy theory happens to be you might as well just forget it and uh, you know i'm not a conspiracy theorist guy I don't, i'm not a huge fan of those things i've watched watched some of the movies i'm familiar with the ideas and i just you know i just want to focus on what's happening now with the state uh, destroying people's lives out in the open we don't need to you know have a theory about eric garner right. we're coming up it's free talk live so the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It is the Christmas Eve edition of the program. We're here live, and we'll take your calls about anything that happens to be on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we have waiting for you on the site. Something else you can get over at our website. You go to coffee.freetalklive.com, and that'll take you to a special place where you can get a free pound of the best of the best coffee out there from BuzzBox. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. It's great coffee and competitively priced with other high-end coffees, but they do something special at BuzzBox that you're not going to find elsewhere, and that is that they've teamed up with Free Talk Live and Kiva.org to allow us to turn some of these coffee profits into micro-loans, meaning that the coffee you're, you get on a regular basis from coffee.freetalklive.com, which basically gets you on an auto-ship program, for every 10 listeners that are on that program, every month we can fund out a new microloan to folks in very difficult parts of the world to help them make their lives better. So you get a free pound of coffee to start. You just pay the shipping cost over at coffee.freetalklive.com. They get you on the auto ship program. You can select how often you want coffee delivered and how much coffee at a time that you would like delivered. You uh, can cancel your subscription at any time, and you can feel good because not only are you getting some of the best coffee out there, but you're also helping people make a better life for themselves. So go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Again, that's coffee. Dot freetalklive.com we were uh, we've been talking about stories regarding uh, parents and family members who just are not interested in really understanding what ideas that we're trying to put out there into the world the ideas of personal liberty you know that you should be free to live your life how you want so long as you don't harm anybody else uh, that in order to be free you have to allow other people to be free and uh, Family members are some of the toughest people to convince on this, and maybe part of the reason, I think Mark has speculated in the past, that part of the reason is that the, your family knows how fallible you are, right? right? So, Chris, you were talking a moment a moment ago about how, for a while, you were involved in the 9-11 truth movement and the conspiracy theory world, and that you tried to push that on your family members, and you know that didn't go so well. Right. When I when I first got involved, when I started learning about the ideas of liberty, uh, the the liberty movement in New York is largely centered around conspiracy stuff. The the you know, the 9-11 truth movement is obviously probably bigger in New York than it is in both other places. We okay. watched the towers come down. And so when I first went to my first campaign for liberty meeting, I met Gigi Bowman and Gigi Bowman, a uh, wonderful woman. But she asked me then, she's like, are you a 9-11 truther yet? And at first I was like, oh, my God, this woman's out of her mind. She thinks 9-11 was an inside job. And she was like, go watch these documentaries. And I watched like some Alex Jones movies. Mm -hmm. And after I watched them. I, I jumped in head first and I was like, oh my God, 9 11 was an inside job. There's a global conspiracy to destroy the human race. Oh, and, all and of there's this so much out there that you can just feed and feed and feed and, you know, watch and consume all of this info and these claims that some of them are not really backed by much of anything. And then, you know, you start going deeper and deeper down this crazy rabbit hole. Yeah. And there's enough truth in it that it, it catches your attention. And then you can start listening to, I mean, I, Alex Jones does what, like a three 
three or four, four hour show hours every day. single day. Yeah. And then you, you, he's Maybe he's five. digging up all so oh, so much stuff. And then there's like he's got other guys who are doing shows for you know mm-hmm. then follow up his show and he's got Infowars and Prison Planet. And he's making documentaries. I mean, there's no limit to the amount of time that you could spend digging down this rabbit hole. Oh yeah. And some of some of my friends, you know, Gigi was a little closer to reality than than others but like you know some of them would go do, all the way to like aliens or running the government and mm-hmm. and all Lizard these crazy people. things and i and i sort of had to pull it back i mean i ran for congress right like mm-hmm. i couldn't go and run for congress on a i i at least knew that i couldn't run for congress on a 9-11 was an inside job platform right and uh so i sort I don't of tried know. maybe to, you'd do better than the average libertarian if you did that I, yeah, I really there there were, there were some that did i mean there were guys you know Gigi bowman ran for senate and you know, she was a an outspoken 9/11 truther, the hmm. state senate, not the U.S. Senate, um, and she, uh, you know, was all about the GMO foods and big pharma and you know all of these different things. And she she made the ballot. I did not make the ballot. She <laughs> made the ballot. Uh, she you know clearly didn't get elected, but uh, yeah. you know she she at least made the ballot on the libertarian line and stuff. But in any case. It was when I when I first got into those ideas, then I was in a panic and I and I felt like if I just told other people that this would, you know, you know, once they found out about this and I showed my mother, I think it was Zeitgeist. I showed her the first one. okay, And she was like, I don't care if this is true or not. This movie scared the hell out of me. Don't you ever show me anything like this again. Wow. Yeah. So that's yeah, that didn't help. At right. all. So, so like, you know, you went through this phase of the uh, uh, the truther stuff and your family, you know, they didn't believe that then. And now you're going through this liberty phase. It's how they might see it, right? Like, right. oh, he's just, ah, he's, this is one of his, he's crazy, kooky old Cantwell. Yeah. And he believed this uh, 9-11 conspiracy stuff. And now he's saying the government's a criminal gang. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's, that's, that's. It's probably not helping that I went right. through, you know, this whole. Oh my God, they're gonna why they're gonna keep humanity under five hundred thousand or whatever the heck the number was on those Georgia Guidestone things that they're gonna <laughs> massively depopulate the planet, sterilize the water. You know, how do you feel about it nowadays, though? I mean, it sounds like you're somewhat critical of the conspiracy stuff. I mean, where, where are you at today? My thing is, I uh, and there's a, an article up on my website, ChristopherCantwell.com, that was also picked up by LouRockwell.com. That that I said, look, I think conspiracy theories are overall good for the libertarian movement um, because I I do think that it does a lot to get people to question the legitimacy of the institution. I think if you've got a bunch of people I think if you've got a bunch of people running around screaming 9-11 was an inside job uh, those people are a lot less likely to believe everything the government tells them and that's important but it is one of these things that if people are not good about their fact checking that they can waste an awful lot of time and, and run around with some really bad ideas and turn some regular people off with that certainly so i i think you're right i think that there's real concrete examples of people who are doers in the liberty movement today who will credit you know the the 9-11 truth movement or whatever conspiracies whatever you want to, whatever they want to, whichever conspiracy they want to credit whatever right. it was whatever movie etc uh they'll credit that and i gotta gotta give credit where credit's due that's true people are brought in by that but I always wonder what the percentages are, right? Because we can see, we know the scene, right? But we don't know the unseen. So we know that what we see is certain individuals have come into the liberty movement through the conspiracy channels. Yeah. And those people exist. I'm not knocking that. But what about the people who go off in the other direction? And the other direction is down the rabbit hole into crazy land yeah. and to- total depression and fear. Because that's the real message, right, behind the conspiracy yeah. movement. As you were j- jesting earlier about the the belief that, oh, they want to el- eliminate 80% of the world's population and Ebola and this and that. And there's always some sort of new uh, bird flu or something that's going to kill everybody. There's some new terrible thing out there. And, of course, there's quotes from people like John Rockefeller or whoever in the past that have said things like you know, yeah. Ted Turner supporting eliminating 80% of the world's population. So, you know, they've got things they can point to, like people and some of the people in power do believe this stuff, right? Like that, yeah, that's, that's certainly real. do. Um, but at the same time, it's this crazy depression rabbit hole where 
you know, if you start to believe all of these claims about that there's some sort of subplot beneath everything and that, you know, it's all being controlled by an elite group of men that meet the Bilderberg meetings every year and, you know, there's aliens involved or whatever, however far you want to go down this hole. And then you might actually get to think it's something really crazy, like government is actually efficient and could pull all of this off. <laughs> Maybe. You know, there is that, too. We'll come back with more here. 855-450 free. At the very least, you might hide in your basement forever. Time waits for no one. That's why you should hurry to not miss the Freeze Dry Guy's end of year case lot sale. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866 404 3663 to receive 20 to 25% off Mountain House freeze dried foods. Mountain House, the gold standard in long term storage products, include real freeze dried meats, entrees, eggs, fruits, and vegetables. Yes, 20 to 25% off now. Also, receive 30% off other selected Mountain House foods and receive 30% off selected Pack Away brand dehydrated foods. Just call 866-404-3663 and ask for the freeze-dry guy. Plus, long-range patrol ration eggs and ham at superb discounts. But these are extremely hard to find and nearly gone, so call today. Ask about our LRP ice cream bars, too. Some items limited to stock on hand. And remember, the freeze-dry guy pays for shipping to your door within the lower 48 states. Order now. Don't miss out on the freeze-dry guy's end-of-year case lot sale. Call 866-404-3663 or visit freezedryguy.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand it's about demonstrating to the entire country that, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. 
This is Free Talk Live. It is the Christmas Eve edition of the program. We're here to take your calls about anything you would like to discuss. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, that's 855-450-3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features waiting there. You get to create the content there. Uh, on the front page of the site, you just submit whatever, you know, YouTube, video, news article, blog post, whatever you want to submit. You submit it there to the front page, and other listeners can vote it up or down. Uh, go there and get interactive for free at freetalklive.com. Something else that's free is uh, to try out ProXPN. It's a global virtual private network, and they encrypt your online data. Now, why is that valuable? Well, because your internet service provider, among other people, is likely saving your surfing history. They can snoop on every website you visit, all the search terms you enter. They could re record that information for, in some cases, as long as five years. So you can put a stop to that by downloading ProXPN's free software. It's available for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, and Android devices. Plus, Linux users, you can get set up as well. It's just a bit of a different setup process. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. You grab the software there. And when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account to get extra benefits like unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access, Access, the ability to privately torrent and even get past regionally blocked websites. So useful. So, for instance, uh, if you're at a school or at an office or someplace where they're restricting the internet access, if you can get connected to Pro XPN, then courthouse. you get around. Yeah, you get the courthouse indeed. You get around those restrictions. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50. You'll save 50% off of the price of their annual account. And that breaks the price down to just under five bucks a month for this amazing service. You get at all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits. The code, again, that you'll need for the discount, 50% off the annual account, is FTL50, and you can go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Have you, have you been using uh, your ProXPN? I yeah. used it today in court, as a matter of fact. The thing is, uh, it seems to me that uh, some of your Google searches have actually been leaked onto the internet. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've seen this yet. There's a Twitter account. Yeah, I did see that. The, Yo, the, I, heard, I heard about it from you. Oh, man, I had yeah. so much fun with that. I was looking at that. So there's What's it called? Ian Freeman Googles or something even, like that? Or? Ian Freeman Googling. Googling. Okay. And it's like, how many times could I say Bitcoin in a day or something like that? And all these different, like, it's it's supposed to be your searches. And I just, yeah. I cracked up so hard it's laughing at it. It seems to be the same guy who's running the Out of Context Cantwell uh, oh, Twitter really? account. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that one yet either, but uh, cool, man. That's nice. You know, people are either talking about you or they're not. Right? Yeah. Uh, so let's go to your calls and thoughts. We can talk more about the conspiracy theory rabbit hole here in a moment, but Michael is on the line in Rhode Island. Uh, Michael, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Chris Cantwell. Uh, hey, Ian and Cantwell. How are you guys doing? Hi, tonight? Michael. Good evening. You're on the air. Good. Nice. Thanks. Um, so the other night you guys were talking about use of force uh, when, when Cantwell called in and uh, – I was curious as to rehash and hear bo both of your points and then maybe put my input from there. Well, I mean, I don't think that this is a quick little throw out the points conversation. I mean, this right. is uh, this is a conversation that can go on for some time, but I don't know, Cantwell, can you boil it down? Look, uh, <laughs> the, the government is an institution of violence, right? It exists only through force of arms, and it is here to, uh, it is a class of people designated to use violence against all others. And so long as people will not defend themselves against those people, then those people will continue to victimize us. And my premise has been and shall remain uh, for the foreseeable future that at some point somebody is going to have to uh, to fight these people. Yeah. So let me summarize here if I can. Uh, the government is violence. There's no doubt about that. But the reason why the state exists today, and it doesn't really exist, it's just an idea. Right. But the reason why the idea exists is because people believe in it. And people believe in it to the point where they're willing to kill for it. They're willing to even send, as we've been discussing earlier, they're willing yep. to even send their own family members to prison uh, if they violate some arbitrary government statute. And they'll feel good about it at the same time while feeling bad about it. They'll feel mostly good about it, though, because the law is more important than family, as we've been discussing. So you've got this situation where the state manifests in reality because that's what people believe in. And even if you do follow the violent road, you're going to be disappointed. Because until you can convince people that the state is not necessary in the same way that slavery is not necessary, 
to human existence and to the flourishing of the hum human race, if you will. Uh, until you can convince people that they need to change their minds, no amount of violence is going to solve the problem because there will always be someone else who will step up to fill that role. The you take out cops who are, seem to be bad, and the and worse people will uh, will take their place. Violence begets violence, and, uh, and that's what I've seen be the case. And that's kind of a, a brief summary of it. I, there's some other points I have, but your thoughts are welcome, Michael. Go ahead. Sure. Um, you know, I loosely ag agree with both of you. Um, attacking police, especially randomly, as this most recent case seems to be, uh is not going to end well for the for the movement or for peace, prosperity, or whatever word you want to apply there. That's going to, to likely in, increase police violence, um, militarization, you know, and, and I oppose that. I, I'm definitely not going for that. But at the same time, I tend to agree with Cantwell here more than, than you, Ian. Like, where does one draw the line? I'm not, I'm not the type who... When I'm, you know, sometimes I smoke weed in in public and 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 whatnot. And if a cop's going to beat me down for doing that, I'm not the type who's just going to collapse and lay down on the ground and let them put mm -hmm. me into captivity. I don't think that that humans naturally go into captivity. And if you do, I, you know, I I think, well you're not very freedom oriented or at least you're you're willing oh, well every to time i've been arrested i've been fairly uh fairly cooperative with the police because if you don't cooperate with them then they will be more likely to get more violent with you and you'll then catch a resisting yeah. charge and and me too by the way i'm yeah. i'm cooperative with them i mean i got pulled over just a, you know a few weeks ago the guy ended up letting me off with a warning but you know uh he that doesn't mean he, you he, don't had, care he had about to freedom. threaten my life to pull me over i cooperated because i wanted to live to fight another day right that doesn't mean just because you don't resist arrest or something doesn't mean you don't care enough about freedom uh as you sure, pointed out sure. chris you know you what you have priorities in right. life and you know going getting killed or hospitalized for smoking a joint just really isn't worth uh, worth it right you know, I mean, yeah, he's yeah, also I mean, it does sound to me like the gentleman on the phone is talking about a situation where the cop is going to start beating him down. And look, if a cop's, you know, if I'm getting, you know, clubbed with a nightstick and, you know, uh, beaten, you know, I probably, uh, you know, attempt some resistance at that point. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're when it's to a point where I'm being assaulted, well, now instinct is going to take over and I'm going to have to deal with the situation. And I don't but think you'd course, be in the wrong for that. I don't right. think I again, I don't think there's anything morally wrong with a lot of things you say, Chris Cantwell, as far as defending yourself against people who would use coercion against you even if they have a badge on i don't think there's anything immoral about that i think you're fully within your rights to do that but practically what's going to result is you're going to end up dead real fast i mean so yeah the beating sucks you know nobody wants to get uh, get a beating and you know trying to resist that i wouldn't blame anybody for that um and i'm not saying i wouldn't resist either but at the same time i know that if i were to pull a uh, handgun out of my pocket and then you know, while in the the process of being beaten, blast the cop away at that moment. If there are any other cops nearby, my life is going to be extinguished relatively quickly. If I'm then able to sure. somehow, you know, run down the street and you know get away from the scene, an all points bulletin will be shortly put out, uh, be put out for me, and eventually it will likely end in my uh, imminent demise. So ultimately, there's no there's no good option that uh, tends to come out of violence, right? Like the people that use violence against the police usually end up dead i would uh you know i am very familiar with both y'all's work um and in this scenario well the proposed scenario i suppose i would just chalk it up to a a cost benefit analysis what are you, you know, talking what, about what am what i willing mean? to you know if we're talking about the scenario of being beaten down or or going to jail or complying you know i would need to be in in the position and calculate what what the what risks are coming my way based on what i can gain from not com, from non-compliance and yeah that's that's you know, the, my I'm my whole argument the entire time has been and it that it's a it's a value judgment that an individual has to make for themselves you know with with every situation that they're dealing with everybody has a right to resist people who would use violence against them it doesn't always work out practically and you have to make that value judgment for yourself michael thanks for the call tonight there's more coming up here in moments on free talk live did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, 
waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-856-4195. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate Free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-856-4195. That's 1-800-856-4195. Call 1-800-856-4195. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA for herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3, 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Email is easy, instant, and free, and that can be real embarrassing. Email lacks the eye contact and body language you get in face-to-face -face conversation, or the tone of voice and other nuance you hear in a telephone conversation. Email is just words, often few words. We're all smothering in spam, so we often reply in terse fashion that's easy to misunderstand. And email doesn't cost you a postage stamp, and it lacks the deliberation time it'd take to walk to the snail mailbox so it's easy to succumb to the oh yeah stimulus response trap when in doubt don't snap back at snippy messages you get you may have mistaken the sender's intent and unless you're sending aol to aol there's no unsend for more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now hit survivalspeech.com i'm holland cook so you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features there. If you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, then get your shopping taken care of over at shop.freetalklive.com. Maybe you got a check from the folks or you know, got some money uh, windfall, a bonus from 
the boss maybe this uh, this Christmas holiday season and you're looking to blow it on stuff, well, go to shop.freetalklive.com and get whatever the heck you're looking for. PlayStation 4, the Xbox, whatever is hot. Whatever. I don't know what's hot this Christmas season, but usually the next-gen yeah, consoles. Tickle Me Elmo or something. Yeah, there's usually one thing. I actually was I was working in retail when Tickle Me Elmo was the thing. Yeah. And uh, I also remember Tamagotchi as well, which was like the fake pet thing, like the digital pet. Right. Um, and so, you know, I don't want the, I don't know what the hot feed thing your pet is. or it's going to starve to death. Looked what horrible. a fun toy. Looks terrible. But the kids <laughs> loved it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what the hot toy is this year, but whatever it is, whatever you need to go and get after uh, the holidays here, go to shop.freetalklive.com. It's so nice once you stop watching television and you get disconnected yeah, you from all that stuff. stuff. Uh, shop.freetalklive.com. You want to get stuff? That's where you can go and get it and get it at a great Amazon price point. You, you know Amazon. They've got great deals, huge uh, super saver shipping, huge selection, all the reviews that you're used to. You go to shop.freetalklive.com, enter the, uh, the UK version of the site, Canada's version, and the US, whichever one's right for you. Free Talk Live will get a cut from any of those. So shop.freetalklive.com as we go to your phone calls and thoughts. And then a little bit more on the conspiracy movement here, because Cantwell has been part of it in the past and has sort of moved on from it. David is in the Virgin Islands. David, you're on Free Talk Live. Good evening, and I believe you're listening on Radio 1. Yes. Good night. I have good news to the world. Um, I am Michael the Archangel. You are Michael the Archangel? <laughs> is that is that your premise, sir? That's what he said. Um, do you believe me or not? Well, I mean, you're going to have to provide some evidence, I think. So it's, okay, then. You I'm, have, not gonna call yeah. you, I'm not going to call you a liar, at least not yet, but I'm I'm not convinced yet, so. You're skeptical. Okay, okay. Well, you have to Because, I mean, a me. lot of people call and tell me that there are angels and deities and stuff like that, well, and yeah. usually uh, when I check their ID, it just doesn't pan out. All right, when you check mine, you will see the truth will come true. Okay. Okay. Let okay. me go ahead. All right, go ahead. Um. I come to explain the prophecy from in the Bible. I come to show the Antichrist from the Bible. God has set up all of the Christian people of today to become the false Christ, to become the Antichrist. God has sent the Christian people to become the Antichrist? Well, set them up. Set them up. Set up, yeah. How does that work? How does that work? What I can tell you, you ain't going to believe it until you really, really go and read it from the Bible itself. Well, well I'm, I'm not going to read show. it from the Bible because the Bible is just an intolerably yeah, get my boring, Bible out of my back pocket. It's just an check. intolerably boring, boring book. But uh, let me see. Uh, God is, said on to them that Michael the Archangel would call Free Talk why? Live in just, 2014. Well, okay, listen. Wait, wait, um, wait, 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 slow, slow down, David. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Because, you know, there's a lot that needs to be asked here. This is a big claim to claim that yeah. you are Michael the Archang- uh, Ar- Archangel. Why am I saying yeah. that wrong? Archangel? Archangel. Uh, Angel. Uh, Arch early, angel. Actually, it's, just, it's just a metaphorical name. I mean, I'm just the angel. leader of the, uh, the angel. angel. <laughs> Uh, uh, he so is wait, the isosceles triangle. You're like a big angel, right? Okay, you're so like the leader. Archer, you're the boss. Angel. Uh, hey, okay, David. Well, uh, so here's what I want to know: If you're Michael, why'd you call the name David? Why the two names? I mean, that's just going to cause confusion, right? Isn't the two names in the Bible? My, Michael, how he goes? David, Michael, he goes by many names in the Bible. Does he? Okay. This is what the people don't He's know. He's a liar. All right. So what you're okay, saying you is the Christians. Know. Have been set up to become the Antichrist. Is that right? That's yes. that means all of the Christians, or are there Every some? Every single Christian. That's why he sent Michael to open a book and relieve them from the prison. You let me go ahead and explain. It. Then you could maybe buy the book and read. It's unfortunate. Wait, you have a book you're selling? These people have thought yes, that they were here book. for Christ, and it turns There's out that the, the Bible, whole time they've been set up. Well, you know, Chris, there might be something to that. I mean, there is an argument to be made that many of these Christians who call themselves Christians today are actually the furthest thing from a Christian, given that Christians are supposed to be oriented towards peace. Well, there's plenty of them that seem to love war, uh, given that uh, Christians are supposed to be forgiving and loving toward their enemies. Well, they don't seem to understand much about that. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be panning out so well. They that can't whole even get along know, with other know them by their fruits thing doesn't yeah. seem to be bearing out some very well, yeah, sweet fruit. Yeah, you know them by their fruits. Wait till you fight them with a the prince of peace and you don't even know it. That's the thing that you yeah. see. I can't understand true. half the words yeah, that are coming out of your mouth, David. But uh, but you know, I appreciate where you're. Um, I appreciate that you're trying to do something and trying to bring some sort of message of change to the Christian religion. But right, now, what right, you're saying right. is you've got a book that you're pitching. Is that right? Yes, in Revelation chapter ten, there is a book coming 
to the world. That's it. I have the book. Did you write you the book? People? Huh? Did you write yes. this book? I write the book. God, tell what me is the book. website? Where can people go? How do you um, find the book? What's it called? Go to, go to lulu.com. Lulu. And type, is that yes, Lulu's Bar and Grill? No, no. no. L-U, okay. L-U.com. Okay. And type in the correction book. Then prove me wrong, right? The correction what? Book. The correction the, book. The correction right, book. So correct, yeah. your book that is it's correcting what is wrong. Is that the idea? Is that where the, the title comes from? Correct. You you figure out everything. That's good. I hope, hope that you make... I hope you write better than you speak. Well, I mean, to be fair, Chris, I mean, I this gentleman is calling from that. a different uh, country. Oh, that's true. So. That's yeah, true. Different area, sorry, calling but... from the Virgin Islands. You know, mm-hmm. it's cool and nice. Don't you guys should have been down here. Hey, I used to live in Boston. I used to drive up to New Hampshire. You know, so you guys are still friends. No problem. Oh, right, right on, man. So what is this? So this is like Lulu is like a self-publishing website. Give me the give me the name of yes, your book. Correct. One more time. What's the, it called? The, the correction, correction book? book. The correction book. And this is going to correct all that is wrong with the Christian it religion. Will save the Christian people of today. What I about the other people? Artist. Like what about uh, you know non-Christians? What about Chris? Cran- oh, Chris oh, Campbell here the, is an atheist. I'm a panentheist. Truth. Well, they are dead. If you ain't with God. You are going to be dead. Well, wait, I think that I, as a panentheist, I think I'm always with God because so I think everything is God. To, so you have to join God, you know, otherwise, you know, kill everybody. What you mean you is you have to join the Christian religion or you're going to end up in what, a fiery brimstone kind of right, situation? Right, in the lake. The lake no, I just fire. don't believe that I think stuff. that what's actually going to happen, it? you're no. going to actively become the antichrist and bring about the end of the world no i'm not he said that's the christians the christians are going to bring about the end of the world so the the atheists and the panentheists we will just sort of lights (laughs) out and be done with it well um read my book on you all right david thank you get right on i can't wait to do that (laughs) you know what i'm i'm just this thing's a real page turner i just can't (laughs) oh that's right i don't actually have it Small book too, and you're 70 page. You could write. Oh, wait, you how much does this book cost? Five hundred dollars. So, how much? So just thirty-eight dollars. <laughs> thirty-eight dollars. Now, this is what I don't understand. I mean, if this is such an important book, and if you truly are an angel sent to, uh, you know, save the Christians, why wouldn't you just put it out for free? It's 70, 70 hey, pages, a, thirty-eight dollars. I know somebody will ask a question. I'm a human being. I'm a. I'm not a supernatural angel. I'm a human angel. So. I have to eat. That's how I make my living. Did somebody cut off your wings and then you transubstantiated like dog money? Are- look, David, I look, I, I, I get that you got to eat. Now, I thought you were an archangel and so yeah, you, know, that you wouldn't the, have to eat. The Christian, Can't you the feed Christian off souls or something like that? Like, I've got to eat. I've got to bang chicks. A- I've got to <laughs> snort cocaine and hang out in titty bars. And <laughs> okay, let me tell you something. You, I mean, you, well, you got to meet the sinners, right? right? you got to go gotta out and save the Christians save from the, the strip they, clubs where they get the lap dance in the champagne room. It's this 15 is what minutes. cost me $100. <laughs> it's an expensive hobby. <laughs> this is what I don't understand is that, look, if it's a good message, if you've got something here, and Camel's right. This is a really expensive price for a seventy-two page book. <laughs> seventy-two pages, thirty-eight dollars. That's, that's only delivered digitally, right? Can you actually get a yeah, physical yeah, copy of this? Huh? Can you get a physical copy of this, or is it only not digital? Right, not right yet. You have to print the book. Oh, yeah. so he wants thirty-eight dollars <laughs> for a, a seventy-page ebook? Yeah, for a. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to put a wall in it. You guys are first person. I can get the whole Bible in the Dollar Tree. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, David. Good luck with your mission. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> I don't know how many. I really don't know how many sales you're going to get, but it's there. If you go and you look him up, uh, David Dean, thirty-eight bucks for the the correction. If I could, if I find out that this guy sold one book, I. I am absolutely gonna. I'm gonna go sell my book tomorrow. I'm just gonna go publish a bunch of essays from ChristopherCantwell.com, yeah. and I'm just gonna be like, "Look, man, $100. you're gonna save the Christians from being the Antichrist, and it's only five thousand dollars." And how many essays do you have up so far? You think in excess of five hundred? That's pretty good. Yeah, that'd, that'd be a big old book. Yeah. I uh, I want to I've been I've been planning to I was gonna try to get it done before the end of this year and it didn't pan out before the end of next year I want to uh, weave them into a more cohesive storyline and mm. and publish a book I intend to do that I'm thinking the Chris Cantwell coffee table book 
I mean, wouldn't that be nice? It could have pictures of you like flipping the bird, like really nice <laughs> photos along with your essays. I think maybe be, maybe that could be, be like the the extra gift. The the book is going to be called "In the Absence of the State: An Anarchist Case for Resistance." Really? That's seriously what it's going to be called? Yeah. You've thought about this? Yeah. All right, more coming up here in moments. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You really can call in about anything here on Free Talk Live. More coming up. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Christmas Eve, Wednesday, December 24th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,177, silver around $15.78, and Bitcoin is trading around $334.28. Today's precious metal price is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Extreme weather. From droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food, to snowstorms of 70 inches plus stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, a Jacopi, Massachusetts man is facing charges after posting put wings on pigs to Facebook, according to police. Charlie DeRosa will be summoned to court for threat to commit a crime. Police will file a complaint in court seeking a show cause hearing. If the court determines the complaint is valid, a trial will be scheduled. On Saturday, two New York police officers were killed by a gunman while sitting in their police cruiser. The suspect, who then killed himself, had posted, I'm putting wings on pigs today on social media. Jacoby police posted on their Facebook page that the alleged threat by DeRosa was taken seriously because of the events of the past few days. The interview was put back into theaters Tuesday when Sony Pictures Entertainment announced a limited Christmas Day theatrical release for the comedy that provoked an international incident with North Korea and outrage over its canceled release. Sony Entertainment CEO Michael Linton said the James Franco, Seth Rogen, North Korea farce will be in a number of theaters beginning on Thursday. He said Sony is also continuing its efforts to release the film on more platforms and in more theaters. 
Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is made possible by My Magic Mud. Detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. Support for the Liberty Beat also comes from the Conscious Resistance Network. Videos, news reports, and articles from a spiritual anarchist perspective. Experience the Conscious Resistance at theconsciousresistance.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 24th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On December 6th, over 600 citizens marched in Boulder, Colorado, demanding that police stop shooting and killing unarmed African Americans. The protest came in response to the shooting in Ferguson, Missouri, and many others like it that have happened around the country. But who organized the protest? It was a full-time activist who had a financial backer, Alexis Neely. Without Neely, he would have not been able to dedicate 60 to 80 hours a week to organizing. Because of Neely's sponsorship, he could focus on activism. Neely believes in putting her money where her heart is. And for her, that means sponsoring people doing good in the world. Now, Neely is using business to help people put their money where their heart is. Right now, Neely is offering a free training to those who want to get in the right relationship with money and use it to make the world a better place. Her free training is available right now online at moneymap.tv. For as often as Democrats attack the conservative billionaires Charles and David Koch for their heavy spending on politics, it's actually the liberal-minded who shelled out the most cash on the just-completed midterm elections. At least, that is, among those groups that must disclose what they raise and spend. That word comes in a special report from the Associated Press. The Liberty Bean is sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty V is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To find out more, visit libertyvcom slash advertise. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 24th, 2014, Christmas Eve. I'm Brian Hagen reporting, reminding you to spread liberty with a smile. Hewlett Packard is known for their basic, no frills computers, but that doesn't mean they can't keep up with the latest technology. In a press release yesterday, HP said, quote, We are excited to begin offering that cloud thing that everyone is talking about. We definitely have the cloud on our computers, and it is better than anyone else's cloud. Earlier today, I sat down with HP spokesman Gary Klinman, who said the company couldn't wait to show people, quote, how they do their cloud stuff. We are absolutely thrilled that uh, now uh, people with computers or, or, or phones both, both, uh, will now be able to um, back things up to the cloud. Clinton says it isn't surprising they're, quote, up on the cloud, considering they're on the cutting edge of all the latest tech trends. Are there any additional features? Crowdsourcing is something we are having. Crowdsourcing 2.0. We have uh, uh, social sharing. We have 5G, 6G, really all the Gs. We have app. We have all of it in the computer. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. Join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. The username here is lrn.fm, and you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there. Lots of stuff to do on our website. And we're here live on this uh, Christmas Eve edition. We'll be doing a live Christmas Day edition tomorrow. Uh, Johnson will be here for that, I believe. And then on New Year's Eve, we're going to be live then, too. And, of course, all the other days because we basically are live 365 days a year here on free talk live why because you deserve live content get a job because we love doing radio it's fun and we like talking to you too you're welcome to call in here and bring up whatever you want tonight still to come the man who's facing charges for a facebook post about putting wings on pigs i want to get into that but there was just a one more comment i wanted to come back to chris campbell we were talking about the conspiracy theory world, uh, one in which that you've been involved with, and I have as well, to some extent. Um, I've, I've never really, I don't think I've dived 
too deep into the world, but I don't know. I mean, I've seen Alex Jones movies. I've uh, seen the Loose Change movie. Uh, you know, so I've seen my share of this stuff. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, um, I've tried out some of the court theories, right? Like the, the sovereign citizen stuff. Dangerous. Courtrooms. Uh, you know, so I've actually tried some of it, and of course it doesn't work. And, of course, the sovereign conspiracy theory guys will just always tell you, well, you did it wrong. You didn't utter the right words in the right order, and if you just did it the way I say to do it, then it would work. Exactly. Risk your freedom and fortune all over again and just <laughs> do it until it pans out right. So, you know, I, I, I can't say that I don't have familiarity with some of this stuff. Right. But at the same time, you know, having be become familiar with it, I, I think I can more accurately uh, be a critic of it. And one of my main critiques of the conspiracy movement is that it's it's dangerous to the user, dangerous to the person who is involved, because the rabbit hole, while it can lead to the land of liberty, we have seen people come from the conspiracy world who, you know, they started out with Alex Jones and then they came across Free Talk Live because we're both on the same radio network. So it's not uncommon for that to happen. Right. Uh, GCN's the Genesis Communications Network. They're our syndicate. And so they syndicate both of these shows. And so sometimes they'll come up to free come up to free talk live and then they'll, you know, call into our show and they'll say, "Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad I found your show because, you know, I was listening to Alex Jones and he's just so angry and there's paranoia and all these conspiracy theories and you guys are you're not that and, you know, then, you know, we kind of bring him on board and before you know it they're moving to New Hampshire and getting active for freedom. My concern with the conspiracy w world is that many of them won't get active for freedom. Like, first of all, it's not necessarily that you find the ideas of the conspiracy world and go to liberty. That's not necessarily one follows the other there. In fact, some of them sort of are the constitutional types who they just want to elect somebody like a Ron Paul who's going to be their grand savior and right. you know and bring the system back to the Constitution. Spend their days complaining about immigration or something. Yeah, so they're not really principled. There's no, just because you find the uh, conspiracy movement doesn't mean you've understood or come across at all in any Far meaningful way it. the ideas of liberty. So there's that. There's that segment of those folks. And then there's the segment of them that just keeps traveling down the rabbit hole of crazy up until the point where, and I've seen this happen to somebody who I knew close, closely and cared about, uh, saw somebody I knew start listening to Alex Jones to the point where he was listening to one Alex Jones show twice a day, the same show. He that doesn't then, even sound like fun. No. Like. <laughs> and the same show would be listened to twice per day. So four hours times two, that's eight hours a day of listening to Alex Jones. And of course, you know, when you get into the world, you get into the conspiracy world and, you know, you're listening to Alex Jones. He's got all these guests. You start going and looking into the guests and then you go really down the rabbit hole toward even more crazy. And so, you know, you start watching the videos that the guests put out and that the guests, you know, are doing their own shows. Oh, and then, yeah. you know, before you know it, you've got somebody who believes that the aliens are out there and they're waiting around the sun uh, to come in. And they're already, well, there's already aliens here, according to. Right. They're you know, actually the reptiles who are but there's controlling more. the government. And there's more out by the sun and that they're coming here and that, you know, it's all going to go bad and that you've got only a few months left and you need to build an underground shelter and leave New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> and that really happened. Um, yeah, so. I imagine it's happened more than once. I mean, it's just the one the one story that you, that you yeah. happen to watch happen. That's but my concern. It probably happens pretty frequently. I mean, you can see exactly. like uh, the uh, there's a thing on Netflix, like the uh, or even just on regular television. You've seen, there's the series of uh, you know underground bunkers. There's the Doomsday Preppers series. I mean, these people uh, you know have a wide range of ideas. Some of them you know are 9/11 truthers or Alex Jones fans, and other ones have you know different ideas. But there's entire industries that have been built around people who are super concerned that like the end of the world is coming. Right. right? And you know I think there's a certain amount of legitimate concern there. I think if you've got just three days worth of food in your house that you're waiting to starve and mm. you know these kinds of things, I think. I think everybody should have at least a pistol, a shotgun, and a rifle. Uh, yeah, I don't have a problem with people being prepared. I really don't. I mean, that doesn't bother me at all. But I think there's a certain point at which you've gone off into la la land. And I think. I think the thing is, I don't think that the ideas of liberty are ever going to appeal to a majority, right? No, but it, we don't need to. Right. We do, we don't need to, but we need you know enough people to turn their back on the state for whatever reason. 
And so the in my my opinion is that for people to you know come to and actually understand the ideas of liberty really requires sort of an understanding of economics, and that that's something that's going to be for the people at the top of the intelligence spectrum, and it's not going to appeal to the mass majority of people. So whatever it is that sort of gets other people out of the out of the state, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, or at least it gives them a healthy distrust of the state. I'm glad that it's there. And and so when we talk about things, Alex Jones, you know, even if it's David Icke or some of these even more further down the rabbit hole people, uh, you know, if it if it gets people to reject uh, that the government is telling them the truth, then I look at that as a positive there's thing. There's value there. But there's no doubt. It's, uh, there's but no it, question the that time, they're going to go out, they're going to ruin a whole bunch of lives. They're yeah. going to create a lot of bad outcomes. There's if, no question about it. If at about the it. same time... But those... the worst outcome is that they continue to believe that the state is their savior. No, no, I, I'm, yeah. I'm with you. But you know, I, what I don't want to see is those same people ending up not doing anything out of fear. You know, like, oh, God, the world is ruled by an elite crew of, you know, men, cigar smoking men in a smoky room in the Bilderberg Club or whatever. But do you think and that if they it, like if they if they're if that's where their head is at after listening to the conspiracy theorist stuff, I don't think that they would have ever turned around and like joined a think tank. You know, like I don't think that they would have come out and been like really rock star activists who were phys philosophically sound, you know, people. Well, I don't who know, man. I mean, I just don't know. All I know is that uh, people go in different directions and I'm grateful for the ones that have come to the liberty movement through the conspiracy movement and have sort of moved on to more positive, constructive things and are focusing in the now and focusing on what the state is doing today rather than some incident that happened back in 2001. Uh, I think that that's all valuable. But if, uh, if there are people out there, I mean, there must be people out there who are taking energy that they could be putting into doing outreach for freedom or whatever kind of you know liberty oriented projects and instead they're just putting all that energy into digging through uh tomes of research on you know whatever conspiracy topic happens to be at hand at the moment spending their time listening to the conspiracy shows this all those are hours that could have been spent on something more productive there's no point in belaboring the you know or, or bemoaning it too much right. it's just a concern that i have and that's why and you know it's not like we can wave our magic wand and make the conspiracy movement go away i think the best thing we can do is be not welcoming not that i'd want to i think the best thing we can do is be welcoming to them and try our best to be good examples of why, okay, yeah, we're with you. The state's, look, the state's done some bad things. No doubt, oh, yeah, John F. Kennedy and, you know, 9-11 or whatever it is they believe in, Oklahoma City, you know, whatever the conspiracy they happen to believe in, can empathize with them on that and then show them, hey, well, look, look at this story about, you know, Eric Garner and look at what these cops are doing over here and the Bearcat and you bring up issues that are here right now that don't need to you don't need to persuade somebody on some sort of subtle question of what temperature steel melts at uh, these sort of esoteric matters that really just don't interest most people. Uh, you know the, the the police abuse thing that's getting traction. That's what people need to be talking about, not. 2001 yeah i i think that uh you know the, the to the question to the concern of where their efforts are going the people who i think are going to waste entirely too much effort digging down the rabbit hole probably like i said probably wouldn't have turned around and been real uh kick butt activists you anyway right. so we're probably not missing anything but for the ones that it it makes them if it snaps them out of the the idea that the state is their friend if it makes them realize that this is an evil institution i there's so much value in that that i just love it i would love to like host conspiracy theory movie marathons all the well, right. time if and anything get in there. having liberty people in the conspiracy movement's important to connect the dots for exactly. those folks we're coming up here 855 450 free just look out for the rabbit hole it's free talk live Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 
800-691-6129. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book. And it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Free Talk Live, the show where anyone can call about whatever they want. And we do mean anyone. World fast for peace. I don't understand what I don't understand what you said. If the whole world fasted by Gandhi, we would see great results for this struggle to survive a world order. There's never going to be any peace. You sound like you're on drugs, dear. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like you're, you're, you're a, a flower anyone, child. You're pumped any up on drugs. Any woman who doesn't agree with you is on drugs or something. I may be a racist and anti-Semite, but I have all my faculties. Well, racism and sexism are one. You're one of the Love mankind, love thy neighbor. And uh, I am too, and thank you both for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. That is the one thing I can certainly agree with uh, the lady on. Normally I can't understand a word that she says, but I think, <laughs> I think Scott, the, uh, the bigot, did interpret her correctly and that she is interested in peace, and I like that. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. Should a man be going to jail because he t- uh, posted on Facebook that he would like to put wings on pigs? Apparently that's happening in Chicopee, or it may be happening. He's not in jail yet, but they are talking about uh, charging him, and we'll give you the details on that. You're welcome to share your thoughts here with us. on. But, this of line. course, the, the cop who said that uh, he should kill this guy, that cop is not being charged. Let's yet. talk about that uh, here in a moment. Also, you can join us on the air at 855-450-FREE. Join us online at freetalklive.com. And I've had the opportunity to listen to the entirety of of In Freedom's Cause. It's a piece of audio theater, meaning that the movie plays out on the screen of your mind. You don't get to hear much audio theater these days, and this one's worth listening to. It's got some actors that are of a, uh, a name status. Joanne Froggett of Downton Abbey is in this. Billy Boyd of Lord of the Rings. James Cosmo from Braveheart, Game of Thrones. And Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia. Those are some of the voices in In Freedom's Cause. It's one of the greatest stories of the struggle for freedom in recorded history. The story of William Wallace. It's like Brave heart only historically accurate the children in your life will love this it has a study guide as an option plus you can go and get a super discount on this over at infreedomscause.com by using coupon code ftl that uh, coupon code gets you the family four pack of cds 
for half price. So again, go to infreedomscause.com. This makes a great gift, but you can't get it in time for Christmas at this point. Still, great gift for the kids in the future. Go get them over at infreedomscause.com. Coupon can, code FTL. Can I ask you for a spoiler? Okay. Do, does he does he say they may take our lives, <laughs> but they will never take our freedom? Mm, I don't think that line made it in. Oh. I think that would be too much. I think it would make it too derivative of uh, Braveheart if yeah. they actually did that one. But I do, uh, I do hear it's great. We've talked about it offline. And it does sound like a great thing. I was going to bring it with me after the last show, and then I did it. And now I have to. I'll probably take it with me tonight. They, they did a good job with it. it. Uh, and again, I, it's something that I think is more geared towards a younger crowd, personally, like you know, kids. Um, that's right. the impression I got from it. But I was, you know, it was worth listening to. I thought, uh, especially if you've got a family. So go and check it out. Infreedomscause.com. Coupon code FTL. And we're going to go to your calls and thoughts. And then the details on this man in Massachusetts who is now facing charges for a Facebook update. Sounds like it's history repeating itself because we weren't talking. I mean, it was just, there was a very similar story in the news. I think it was earlier this year. Let's go to Adam in Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live. Adam. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you guys doing tonight? We are doing a live Merry radio Christmas. show and everything's good. Go ahead with your thoughts. Hey, uh, you guys were just talking about prepping. And uh, I just thought, you know... I, I first got into the Liberty Movement as part of I, – I started listening to Alex Jones and uh, a lot of the conspiracy-type radio shows, and uh, that's how really I got first started. And that's what brought me to the ideas of Ron Paul, which, of course, mm -hmm. led me to the – led me to listening to LRN and really becoming from a hardcore right-wing right -wing Republican to a uh, – pretty hardcore anarchist here in 2015 excellent that's, ron paul so, man uh, that's great and so now are you in your bunker right now or <laughs> do you just like use it for storage the thing about it is is uh, is that i've learned to, that it's much more better to stay positive i don't even listen to alex jones anymore mm -hmm. uh, i haven't listened to it really in over a year i enjoy much more positive uh conversation like you guys are having and just real just real conversation it seems like uh, that he's putting on an act. You think so? Sort. I think that he's, I think after what he did on Piers Morgan, that really kind of turned me off. I think that he really proved himself to be more of an actor. And mm. uh, So this is the conspiracy within the conspiracy now. The conspiracy that Alex Jones oh. is, in point of fact, in on it. And that he is. Have you heard this one, Chris Cantwell? I, yeah, people people the, say this from time to time, and I don't know about that. But what I would say is that what Alex Jones has become is, if you will, like conspiracy entertainment, mm -hmm. right? It's an entertainment program. I mean, the guy's going to do a four-hour show seven days a week. I mean, he's going to have to find a way to fill some airtime, right? And so y you've got to you've got to do some things to to create that content. And I, my understanding, I mean, he has guests on there, but for the most part, I think he's monologuing it, right? Like he's. he's He's fairly frequent a monologuer. I don't. I've never listened to the entire show. He does take calls. I don't know how often he does that. Yeah. Uh, but Adam, what's your impression? Uh, so you think that he's uh, he's faking, or he's, is he faking entirely, or is he just kind of drumming it up? Is he just really? I'm, Go ahead. No, I'm not. I wasn't trying to uh, make a conspiracy within a conspiracy. I just don't take him as very genuine. I, I look at his earlier work, like on Oklahoma City and Waco. I mm -hmm. see that very being being very genuine. But uh, I think uh, there was a, actually, you know, with Mark, he, you remember, you know, Mark Dice? Yeah. I do not know and him, no. I know of him. Few, I've seen I, some of his videos. A few years ago, a few years ago, Mark Dice was calling Alex Jones pretty bad out and was uh, mocking him on his channel. And then uh, I think him and Alex kind of made up behind the scenes. And I think Alex really learned a lot from that experience. Uh because I think Mark Dice really called Alex Jones out and and really kind of mocked him and shamed him a little bit and caused him to think how to do his program. But really, since I think it just kind of turns me off. And that that's uh. Well, Alex really Jones is an angry out. kind of character. His uh, his program is real kind of steeped in that anger. And uh, and you know that's not gonna it's not gonna fly for everybody. Of course, Free Talk Live doesn't fly for everybody either. There's also a lot of people who will uh, come to Free Talk Live, and then they'll leave the show. You know, after they've listened for a year or two or three or however long they listen, because then they find other shows that they like better. Or you know, like Free Talk Live, sort of like the entry 
uh, gateway drug into the the liberty movement to some extent, and you know that's okay. People change, and I understand that. You know, to the to what? the to the thing about you know the guy being an actor. I mean, look. Uh, I, if you look at ChristopherCantwell.com, look, it's very exaggerated, right? And I'm, a, mm-hmm. and I'm, a, and I come off of frequently as a very angry guy. One of the things that I've really been happy about doing Free Talk Live is that it's more just like you know me and my buddy talking, right? Yeah. And, it, and it, and it comes off as entertaining. And yes, I still got you know my anger issues, and I think that's very offset very well by my conversations with Ian. Sure. And you know, uh, so. Look, somebody's trying to put together whatever whatever it is, whether it's a blog or a radio show or whatever it is. I mean, all of us are trying to keep the attention of an audience, and we've got to be entertaining. So, like, I don't have a problem with— uh, So you think he's hamming it up? He's definitely hamming it up, and yeah. so am I. You know, but you think he believes what he's doing, though? I think that he believes that he's doing an important thing, but he's probably realizes also that he's got a lot of filler and garbage involved because he's trying to fill up an awful lot of content. Do you, do you think that Alex Jones thinks that many of his followers are ignorant and he's just uh, leading them as as he wishes, that they're not actually thinking that he could just say whatever he wants and they would just follow him? I wonder if he leader? does because I suspect that's true. I mean, It's, uh, it's Alex- what I think of a lot of his followers, and Alex Jones is probably a pretty smart guy who is in tune with that as well. Alex uh, Jones can say something on his radio show and people will go out and do it. Yeah. Uh, he can say, <laughs> I say buy this soap, and people will go out and buy that soap. And yeah. just on the say-so of uh, the personality that is Alex Jones, and the the that really is, I mean, that's good for him. I mean, he's making plenty of money yeah. uh, doing that. But on Free Talk Live, you know, our audience is skeptical. And you know, we're when we say stuff, they don't believe it. You know, they don't <laughs> like, what are all these guys talking about? We're going to check this out for ourselves. And that's a good thing. Yeah, uh, I for, think so, too. It's a good thing for our audience, but it means we don't make as, you know, as much money. But really, the Sherry's Berries is really good. Uh, hey, thanks for the call, Adam. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And more Free Talk Live coming up. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213 213- 
493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention men who've taken Androgel or any other testosterone therapy products. Androgel or other low-T products have been linked to heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, even death. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products may double a man's risk of heart attack. If you or a loved one took Androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered from a heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, or any other cardiac event, you might be entitled to financial compensation. You have rights, and you need to let us fight for your rights. And you pay no fees unless we win. So call the Tort Attorneys right now. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. 800-708-7917. Cases may be referred to participating law firms in your jurisdiction. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Christmas Eve edition of the program. That's right, we're here taking your calls about whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE is the number. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. Drop on by freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features you'll find waiting there for you. Once again, that's freetalklive.com. And Free Talk Live is brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. You can go to victimlesscrimespree.com to watch this uh, wonderful movie that I happen to have the pleasure of being the executive producer for. And um, so I'm so proud of it. It's a, do- a 90 minute long documentary film. There's actually a 60 minute version now that if you're really time challenged, you can watch that and get the get the gist of the movie. Um, but you can go and watch uh, our friend Derek J, who is our Monday night co-host here on Free Talk Live and watch about a year's worth of his life in that 90 minutes where he was arrested five times uh, for a bunch of nonsense. And uh, it's the according to Google and YouTube, it is the most relevant search for. Uh, for victimless crime, if you search for YouTube, you search YouTube for victimless crime, or even just victimless, Derek J's victimless crime spree is the first result that uh, that comes up, which is I'm really proud of that. It's a, it's a great flick. I actually I ended up actually just watching it the other night because I was uh, really yeah. So I put I out. I blogged about Derek recently. Yeah, I was blogging about his uh, concealed carry thing. It was a great blog. I think that that I think that that's an important story. I think that uh, Derek's situation, you know, challenging this uh, suitable person clause of the, the New Hampshire statute. To, uh, concerning concealed carry permits, he, he was found unsuitable by uh, the police department and the courts so far, and in, uh, in his request to be able to carry a concealed gun. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, there was uh, some some information about that that I thought I, it needed to be put into an entire thing. And part of mm-hmm. my reference was to go and look at victimless crime spree. And I just wanted to go get like a couple of points out of it. But it's it's such a compelling watch that I ended up watching the, the whole, whole thing. thing all over again because it's just such a great great flick it really is that good and it'll uh you know you might cry you might laugh uh during the movie i've done both and uh, it's you know when a movie can make you feel different emotions in its time span yeah you know, it's running time it's I a think roller that's, coaster it's an indicator of how how well put together it is so go check it out you can watch it for free anytime you want and share it as far and as wide as you want go to victimlesscrimespree.com and while it's too late to get the dvd in time for christmas uh the dvd is available through amazon which is the director's cut of the film uh, it has over eight, something like seven to eight hours of bonus footage, bonus content in there. Plus, it's got the commentary tracks. You want to watch the movie with Derek J, listen to Derek comment on his own movie, you can do that. And there's another commentary track which features Derek, myself, and the editor of the film, Bo Davis. So that was fun to do. Uh, and that's uh, it's one of the things you only get on the di- Director's Cut DVD. So go and check it out, victimlesscrimespree.com. Let's go to Alma. She's in Tallahassee. You're on Free Talk Live. And it is hey, the Christmas Ian Eve show. Johnson. Go ahead. Uh, Johnson's going to be on tomorrow. This is uh, this is Christopher Cantwell. All right, hey Christopher. Yeah, that's me. Okay, but uh, you know I agreed with the man that called a while ago. Uh, the was... Michael the Archangel. Yeah, he was he was oh, brilliant. Yeah, that <laughs> Alex, that Alex. But uh, I believe he's just an actor. I used to listen to him, 
But I love Alex y'all, Jones. Joe. Y'all let people vent. Right now, in the time we're going through, people need to vent sometime. Mm-hmm. But And I wanted to tell you, don't go to a funeral. I went to one yesterday. These people anymore, I don't know what's wrong with the world. They will steal the teeth out of a dead person's mouth if they could. Stole a necklace off of an old woman. The Bible you saw this happen casket. at a funeral? Yes. The Bible off the casket and the pictures off the casket, and I got shoved. You, w- That's just awful. Wow. That's why I only go to funerals to try to pick up chicks. It's well, really I ridiculous what people go, do with these things. I to go to this one. You know, please come, you know, come, come, come. And, uh... Yeah, I do try to avoid funerals. Uh, I find them to be uh, pretty in, in, intolerable occasions. I don't go to them. You know, it's a rare thing, but this is just to show that people are out of control anymore. Alma, thanks for your call yeah, tonight. When, I appreciate it. You, when, when, people, when people die, I'm like, look, I already went to your wedding. Same thing, you know. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> weddings. I think weddings are bad too. I would have to say I'll put a wedding above a funeral. Like if I am, if I have to yeah. choose one or the other, um, I'm gonna go with the uh, the wedding because usually there's the more bar, fun. Yeah. You know, there's alcohol. There's you know more. It's 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 more likely to be entertaining right. in it's some a ways. Celebration, not a you know. Let's just be miserable and terrible right. like i i've sort of like given some instructions to certain family members like mine can't be like this you know like if i yeah. outlive you you've got to make sure that there's a party when i'm over and those are the that's the kind of funeral that i like the idea of attending i don't think i've ever had the opportunity but in Neither theory if someone were to throw a funeral party I could see that as being good because, you know, why do you want I – mean, look, please, don't get all maudlin over uh, over my passing whenever it happens to be. Uh, you know, just have fun. Get out there. Live your life, right? Like, that's what he would have wanted, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, go party. Have a good did, time. Did you ever watch Six Feet Under? Did not. It was no. like uh, – I think it was a Showtime, Showtime right? original series, and uh, it, was, it was a really, really uh, compelling uh, – It was about uh, a funeral show. Home yeah, right? and the guy – yeah, this family who owned a funeral home and – there is this is one episode that like gave me this idea that the so the guy had himself cremated right and and he uh, instead of just having it all in one vase or whatever he got okay. little vials and like gave them to people as like necklaces right sure and so then after the after the funeral a bunch of them were like mixing the ashes up with cocaine and snorting him Ugh. and that's gross I know but I was like wow I mean like this really beats the heck out of just crying in a corner <laughs> doesn't it <You> know? <laughs> let's go to Nate. Nathan, he's in Texas via Skype. Hello, Nathan. Hello, and uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Heidi, go ahead. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to top that, Chris, but uh, I was curious if you had any uh, any interesting stories about um, dating and how that affects uh, or relates to your political views. Because uh, you mentioned how it drives how you've had have you been at odds with family members over being a libertarian and i was wondering if you had any similar experiences you know you sit down and you you find out your date is a liberal democrat so you mean dating outside of the Tumblr. movement dating outside of the movement yeah do you uh, do that yeah, chris? or just dating in uh, general or any interesting stories chris may have yeah most of most of my dating is done outside of the movement okay. i mean i think honestly like i think that it, when i settle down with a with a young lady it's gonna have to be somebody who's involved in these things because it is just such a huge part of my life that to try to you know be in a meaningful relationship with somebody who doesn't understand it is just not gonna happen right uh for somebody so hard. that i that i would be married to a woman who thought it would be great for me to go to prison for not paying taxes is <laughs> yeah. just something that's just not going to happen right i don't right? care how pretty she is yeah, yeah I mean, no exactly thanks. i don't there, there's no way the sex can be that good so right. uh i you know ultimately it would have to be that but i do like i i go on dating sites and stuff and i and i do mm-hmm. i meet women and you know i try to not get into politics right away i just try to talk right. about them because that's what they want that's you to you do, do anyway right they want to talk about themselves and so uh i try to make it about her and get to know her yep and good strategy any anything i can talk about that isn't politics i'll try to if the conversation turns to me it will turn to politics and mm-hmm. sometimes they're very receptive to that and since you know i go out on a limb and say i can articulate these ideas better than a lot of other people uh sometimes 
sometimes it does that they're very fascinated by it. They find it admirable and they want to jump in the sack with me. And that's wonderful. But, you know, over time, once you start getting down to, well, no, I would take away this social welfare program and no, we can't go and destroy this group of people halfway across the planet that we never would have otherwise met. You know, it'll create an argument and it doesn't sure. last. I see. Um, I think I, someone someone once said, I think it might have been on LRN.FM, that uh, as far as political views go, and this is not just relating to liberty, but no, whatever your political views are, as long as your partner is not diametrically opposed and wants you to burn at the stake for them, you're, you're probably good. My thing is, you know, the, the thing about being, you know, a, a libertarian of the what I would consider to be of the truest nature is that anything that they want to do with the state, you know, whatever their government program is, it's a completely unacceptable act of violence that like, I don't care what your stupid little program is. I don't care if you want to, uh, you know, have a speed limit or a war with a foreign country it's the same exact problem and i'll give you the exact same amount of trouble about it right like <laughs> if she's like i don't think it should be legal to blow a stop sign it's the same exact problem as if i want to drop a nuclear bomb on a foreign country nathan thanks for your call tonight good luck in the dating world 855 450 free that's 855 450 3733 one man is facing charges for a Facebook post. Should he be? We will tell you about his post here in a moment and the cop that followed it up, apparently. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. You can share your thoughts. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Chuck Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream Back Pain Cream at Walgreens. The knowledge of the ancients. Tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend. Crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons.
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain, but enough time for you if you dial in right now here at 855-450-FREE. That's right, we're here live on Christmas Eve here on Free Talk Live. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Cantwell. Join Chris Cantwell on his website, ChristopherCantwell.com. Recently, uh, Chris Cantwell, you've posted a lengthy piece about our buddy Derek J and the recent uh, difficulty that he's had trying to exercise his supposed rights here in the supposed shall issue state of New Hampshire, where you're supposed to just be able to give 10 bucks to the police department and barring you being a felon, they'll just go ahead and issue you a permit. Yep, I've even got one of these permits, and Derek is a far less threatening a character than I am, I would venture to say. But yet he was do- deemed to be unsuitable that's, by the police. That's right. So I put together uh, the title of the article is Shall Issue Called Into Question in New oh, Hampshire. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I'm telling you, folks, uh, if you're if you're out there at home and you're you're you care about gun rights, go and look at this article. Some of it, if you're very familiar with Derek, if you've seen Victimless Crime Spree, some of the information may seem a little bit repetitive to you. But this is a very, very serious case. I want Derek to take this to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. His attorney is a rock star gun rights lawyer. He's written the book on it not once, but four times and in two different states. He's a serious, serious high high power attorney. Who, uh, who can do this, but Derek's got to raise some money in order to do this. It costed him like $2,500 yep. for the first thing. He managed to raise back, I think, half of that uh, to recoup right. his losses. It's going to cost him three grand, and Derek's given a lot. Derek has sacrificed a lot yeah, for the is, sake yeah. of activism, but he's a really good test case to go and take this to, to the Supreme Court. So check out the article on my website, ChristopherCantwell.com. The title of it is Shall Issue Called Into Question in New Hampshire. And uh, there's a, a link to DerekJ.me slash CC, which is where the fundraiser, fundraiser is to help Derek out. And I, I compiled all of the relevant information in my article. So that's the thing that you want to share with people if you want to get the whole story in front of them. Yeah, it was a really comprehensive piece, and I was, I was pretty impressed with it. So go check out ChristopherCantwell.com. For that and more, our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. A Chicopee man is facing charges. This is Massachusetts AP reporting uh, with CBS. After posting, put wings on pigs to Facebook, say police. Chicopee police said Monday that local residents alerted them to the, quote, very disturbing post, unquote, by 27-year-old Charles DeRosa, who has uh, the word taboo tattooed on his neck. On the front of his neck. Oh, three that's, edgy, five me. That's yeah, pretty hardcore, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've never gotten a tattoo, but I've heard it's fairly painful. And I uh, can imagine it. that doing it on your throat on your Adam's apple. would be fairly mm. difficult. Anyway, on Saturday, two New York police officers were killed by a gunman while sitting in their police cruiser. The suspect, who then killed himself, had posted, quote, I'm putting wings on pigs today on social media, according to officials. After the events of the past few days, the PD took this threat very seriously, say Chicopee Police. Chicopee Police spokesmen say the phrase is a threat, quote, in the eyes of every police officer in America today. Well, now, why is that? Are the police admitting that they view themselves as pigs? Because, I mean, for all we know, Mr. DeRosa was planning on going to the farm and placing some plastic wings on some piggies. 
Uh, yeah, for, you know, he maybe he just wanted to have the, the girl who told him that I'll have sex with you when pigs fly, right? I mean, maybe any number of different things. But I think we all sort of understand what the guy was saying, right? He, sure. We understand what he was saying. And look, there's another case that I've been following, and I can't wait to see what it turns out. We've talked about it on the show here before, that there's another guy who was sentenced to four years in prison for threatening, quote, his wife by making posts on Facebook. Facebook that say things to the effect of like I would like to kill her or something mm. right and so this is a thing that's pretty serious for me because as you know I've got some pretty fiery rhetoric of, of my own and I'm you terrified. do I get a little nervous for you sometimes like the new video you just put out at your, Chris, your uh, Christopher Cantwell YouTube channel yeah exactly so you know one of these days I do expect that I'm going to end up in one of these cases I, mm. I I fully expect that somebody's going to try to jam me up legally for it and I think that that's just so wrong you know that somebody basically goes and says something Look, putting wings on pigs is a is an expression. It's an angry expression. It's talking about yes, it's talking about killing police officers, but it's not a direct threat. It's no. not a specific enough thing that you could say this person stayed up at night because he thought that he was going to yada yada yada, and it was a right. and it was a relevant reference to a thing that was in the news. If people are going to be get, going to jail for being quoting things that were on the news earlier in the day, I mean that's a really sick society. Well, we know that in Massachusetts there was a recent story. I think within the last year, after certainly after the Boston Marathon situation, yeah. that some young, you know, nineteen-year-old rapper yeah. uh, posted some lyrics that were not, you know, a direct threat against anyone necessarily, but that seemed that had that threatening feel, I guess, to some people. Yeah, it was like he wanted to blow stuff up. That guy, I mean, the, the the biggest crime I feel he committed was being a lousy rapper. But continue. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I'm with you. You're a big rap fan, uh, Chris Cantwell. But uh, yeah, I think that he. Didn't deserve what happened to him, which was to be threatened and arrested and you know thrown in a jail cell. And I think ultimately they did drop those charges against they, him. They dropped the charges, and I do believe that there was some kind of uh, something. The courts like forced it to to get dropped. I don't know exactly what the conditions huh. were, but somebody said, "Hey, you can't you can't do this. Right. You can't prosecute this guy." People All are already is- saying that about this uh, Derosa character. Like these charges are never going to stick. This is never going to go anywhere. But nonetheless, the police are still able to to go through these motions with no real consequences. Like, right. even if the police know that this isn't going to stick, they're still going after him. Right. They're just going to terrorize the public and be like, you know, most people are not, when they're thinking about whether or not they're going to get arrested, they're not thinking about whether or not they're going to get convicted, right? Yeah. What they're concerned about is the police coming and handcuffing them and throwing them in a jail cell. They're not like, oh, well, I can get arrested today and I'll get out tomorrow. They don't think it through that far. They're just afraid of getting arrested. The purpose of the arrest for Charles DeRosa, the purpose of the arrest from the police's perspective is to chill free speech. That's, that's what it does. Uh, because people will hear about the story about this guy getting arrested and they'll think, oh my God, you know, I, I got to be careful with what I say online. And even though the guy may end up not actually facing the charges down the line, they may end up getting tossed out the day before court or the day of court, which is very, very common. And then the most you'll likely see, is, if anything, from the news media that's covering this big time right now, right. if you see anything out of the news media later on when the charges are dropped, it might be a little small story somewhere buried on the uh, back page of the paper, like, and Charles DeRosa's charges were dropped. Yeah, you know, and like, he might even it. have like a conditional dismissal that he's not allowed to talk about it or something like that could even happen in some cases that's as well. Pretty, uh, that's pretty unlikely. And that here's that the happen. other thing. Now, there's a guy uh, by the name of Doug Humphreys on Facebook. Facebook, who uh, identifies himself as a former police officer, uh, he saw the the news uh, about this uh, about this guy who they were seeking charges against. So he shared it and he said, uh, "quote on his Facebook page, he said, for any of my law enforcement friends who may not have seen this, if this a hole approaches you, kill him dead." So this is a cop, right, who is now on Facebook. So he says, well, yeah, seek charges against this guy for saying put wings on pigs, which is a very nonspecific threat. He goes and says, law enforcement friends of mine, a specified group of people, this individual, if you see him, kill him. Right. That's a yeah. very specific threat against a, a person. And that's for coming from a person uh, using a uh, color of authority, a position of power to do it. I'm really that's interested scary. to see, uh, you know, I highly doubt that it'll happen. But if you're going to charge this guy for saying wings on pigs, <laughs> you better at least have internal affairs go after the oh, guy. They're going to get right on that one. Let's go to Matt. He's in Ma- uh, Maryland. You're on Free Talk Live, Matt. 
Hey, guys. Just hey. want to say uh, great work. And had a, cap, a question for you on anarcho-capitalists. Um, I understand the, the basics regarding anarcho-capitalism claiming government's violence and threat of violence to steal money via taxing people against their will. So my question is this. If that's the belief that it's immoral to steal this money, would an anarcho-capitalist also say that that money should be retrieved and given back to the people it was stolen from? I would go ahead and say that the government owns nothing. Everything that it has, it, it, would, it, it would took from somebody else, and therefore it has no legitimate claim to ownership over anything. So anybody who wants to go and retrieve anything from the state would essentially be well, retrieving on our own property. Well, by retrieving, I mean, what do you mean by that? Does that mean, you know, reappropriating some property, or does that mean going into the town revenue office and pointing a gun at the agents running the registers and having them empty it out? I mean, what do you mean by retrieve? Well, what I'm thinking about is the bulk of that tax money, uh, or a, a lot of it, ends up in the private bank accounts of CEOs of firms like North Grumman, Boeing, Lockheed, and many other government contractors providing yep. service of no value. So my question is, I understand the anarcho-capitalist claim they really want to avoid socialism because they believe capitalism yields the best economic standard of living for people. However, how do we get beyond the concept that millions, billions have been stolen and are sitting in bank accounts of private I think you just have to let it go, Should really. I think you just have to you know, consider that the past and just let it go. By the way, I don't like the term anarcho-capitalist. I'm not uh, an anarchist. I love that term. And I'm not a capitalist. I don't have a, a dog in the race as far as which form of economic organization is the best one. I think they should all be tried as long as they're done, being done voluntarily. That's all I care about. That's why I'm a voluntarist. I think human interaction should be consensual. And uh, we're out of time for tonight. But uh, check out Chris on his website, ChristopherCantwell.com. And see us tomorrow night. You can listen in live for the live Christmas Day edition tomorrow. See ya. Free Talk on Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 24th, 2014. Silver is trading at $15.84 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,179 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $332.
Antiwar.com reports, having gotten a ton of publicity for the upcoming movie, The Interview, by claiming they were never going to release it, Sony has now announced that they will be releasing the movie on time on Christmas Day. The movie was previously pulled after hackers threatened to 9-11 every movie theater that showed it, and several theater chains pulled out. North Korea has denied involvement in the hack and says they would not attack innocent moviegoers. President Obama has been critical of Sony for not releasing the movie, a comedy about assassinating North Korean ruler Kim Jong-un. It is still unclear how many theaters will show the movie on time, though the hype surrounding it over the past weeks will likely attract considerable interest. The hackers who were threatening Sony over the release have also curiously clammed up about the matter lately, and with North Korea publicly insisting they had nothing to do with them, their credibility is likely weakened. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently remove the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports U.S. health regulators will recommend that gay men be allowed to donate blood one year after their last sexual contact, easing a ban that has been in place since 1983. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration said that scientific evidence shows the move will not create risk for the nation's blood supply. It stopped short of removing the ban altogether, which some medical groups and advocates had The latest episode of Cop Block Radio is next after the news on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Christmas Eve, Wednesday, December 24th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,177, silver around $15.78, and Bitcoin is trading around $334.28. Today's precious metal price is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Extreme weather. From droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food, to snowstorms of 70 inches plus stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, a Jacopi, Massachusetts man is facing charges after posting put wings on pigs to Facebook, according to police. Charlie DeRosa will be summoned to court for threat to commit a crime. Police will file a complaint in court seeking a show cause hearing. If the court determines the complaint is valid, a trial will be scheduled. On Saturday, two New York police officers were killed by a gunman while sitting in their police cruiser. The suspect, who then killed himself, had posted, I'm putting wings on pigs today on social media. Jacoby police posted on their Facebook page that the alleged threat by DeRosa was taken seriously because of the events of the past few days. The interview was put back into theaters Tuesday when Sony Pictures Entertainment announced a limited Christmas Day theatrical release for the comedy that provoked an international incident with North Korea and outrage over its canceled release. Sony Entertainment CEO Michael Linton said the James Franco, Seth Rogen, North Korea farce will be in a number of theaters beginning on Thursday. He said Sony is also continuing its efforts to release the